The grand final is back. That's right. Come on. I am your host, James Clements. This is the AFL Today Show, brought to you by Top Sport. Of course, it is the home of footy finals. Please do not confuse me with Daniel Merritt, Justin <laughs> Lepich, Sauce, Acker, Gary Rowan, Callum Mills, Michael Voss, Max Papley. We're just going to start Max listing Papley. off gingers because the Stats Boy is very racist against uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 us yeah, gingers, yeah. so it's a bit weird. <laughs> I am joined by my two very best friends on the planet. One of them is just a weird, self-loathing Swans fan. They are both weirdos. They are both full-blown footy nuts, but that is Alex Donnelly over there. Got my ticket. Let's go! Grand <laughs> final! He's oh! uh, the most pumped and excited I've seen Alex in a very, very long time. He didn't get a ticket to the most exclusive of gatherings for the AFL Grand <laughs> Final, though. Uh, me, apparently, cooking meatballs for my five-year-old son <laughs> because he wants to hang out, have green pasta yeah. and footy meatballs. I'm yeah, like, Larry going to be that there? That sounds great. What are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, you didn't get an invite. Yeah, so oh, I, would, I would go. There. I'll hang out with Larry. Anyway, the guy from the middle is from Cricket Today. Yes, He's the Leo. little fella. Yes. The Sats boy. Yes, absolutely pumped for the granny. Two kicks away uh, in, what, two days' time. Absolutely pumped. Let's I think go. we can just see Katy Perry from just over here. Yeah, she's just practicing the floor. She's still shining on the G, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. She just just waved at me. Yeah, nice. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. She's with uh, the big O. And, uh, she's like, Jim, where are you? I need a left shark. Like, yes, <laughs> yes, that's right. All uh, right, this is the AFL Today Show. This is our grand final blowout spectacular. It's going to be huge. We're going to go in-depth to a bunch of stats, bets, all the good stuff. Absolutely. Talking about Sydney versus Brisbane, it's going to be good. I cannot bloody wait. So let's just not wait. Let's just do the damn thing. Yeah. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get around AFL Today on all the socials. Aussie Rules Today as well on the old facey. Get around it wherever you get your podcasts, of course. Like, subscribe, star, comment, do all the good stuff. Jump in the comments right now. We're going to read them <coughs> out. Uh, let's go, Spence. I reckon that might be Spence who's yeah. saying that one. We've got Cheer Cheer says the uh, did the Swans win. The guy in the middle is from Cricket Today says Leo. We, he wanted a shout out because it's his birthday in it five is. days. Oh, we'll give him a shout out. Why not? Whoa, we're real, says L- Lol's Lol's cow. cow has been on every one of our so shows. So did the Swans win. Shout and out did, to did the Swans win. He's that. a great dude. Yeah, we've got and, lots of uh, good comments in here. Mr. Jones said hello. <laughs> yeah, just so. a hi. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get into it. Let's do some news. Yes. I don't want to like belabor this point. It's the grand final like, yeah. in two days. This is our Thursday night team show. We, we want to talk about the grand the final. News. Yes, yes. What, look, like, the last day or two, there's been so <laughs> much talk about stuff that isn't the grand final. <laughs> yeah, you know annoying. what I don't care about? Anything enough that isn't the bloody grand final. I just like, just footies, 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 footies. I'm Homer in the donut machine. Yep. Footy, 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 footy. But it's grand final footies. Exactly. I don't want other footies. I want Big O with one working arm. Handballing the footy to Katy Perry. Yeah, we saw that. That's a gun. We had that. Sharon Gate with Katy Perry. Of course, you had to hold a Sharon. Yeah, to hold the Sharon. You guys to do it. Leo says thanks for the shout out. Uh, apparently, <laughs> you've got to, Alex has got to sing the Errol chorus. Uh, if you see me at the Union House Hotel between ten thirty and two p.m. on Saturday, yeah, it'll happen. Oh, the okay. what? Get the it, Union get House it. or Union Club? No. Where? Richmond. Richmond. One in Richmond, isn't yeah. it? Union Hotel. It's the RCH, is there? No, there no. is a Union in yeah. Richmond. Yeah, union, up, up the up the top of um, Swan Street. Interesting. Yeah. Union House. Yeah, no, it is Union, union House. House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I've been there. With, with all the uh, True Bloods faithful, we'll be there. Very having nice. Having a great time. Love it. Nice one. Uh, anyway, where's the chorus? <laughs> no, so I'm gonna, I said, said I'll be do doing it, it on Saturday. I don't it care about Saturday. Do it on the show. Just <laughs> <laughs> don't save it for the <laughs> bloody walk to the ground. Come on. Uh, I would give everything just to be like him. I <laughs> yeah. mean, to be honest, well, I mean, Errol. why would we? Yeah. Low like, Errol. Let's do it. Uh, how much would you give to be just like Errol? It's where the True Bloods folks are meeting. Yep. Uh, is this where I need to start my three-part public apology to Alex for all my footy and media writing off the Swans Tour forwards tweet the other day? Oh, bang. Yep. Do yeah. We, we don't count as footy media. <laughs> no. Nah. No, we don't. No, I mean, he was saying, yeah. Everyone else was writing them off, and I believed all the way through. To be through. fair, I was writing them off, yeah. Uh, that's because you're a hater. <laughs> all right. There is grand final news. Yep. Big Oscar McInerney did handball a footy to Katy Perry. She caught it, which was pretty good. Yep. She was fine. Yep. It's just also kind of sad seeing his big galumpy kind of face and body just out there and he's not playing in the grand final. Yeah. It just kind of makes me sad. It is. It is uh, but he's obviously out. Uh, that's that. the big sort of thing. And the other big out obviously happened. Uh, well, I think we finished yesterday's show. After we were debating whether Callum Mills should and be in or not. And I feel like they yeah. waited literally till the second when the camera stopped. They yep. went, now we'll release the news that Callum Mills is yeah. not playing. That was very annoying. So McCurdy was definitely watching and feeding the info to horse. I mean, like, you, can, you can tell the world now. Yeah, yeah. so the boys have just stopped. 
go. And as a Swans fan, you <laughs> were very happy with that because of uh, you don't want a repeat of Sam yeah. Reid. Ping a not, hammy not in the middle. Not happy. Like, it, is, it is the not captain. Not happy, of course. But no. I'm happy with the decision. I'm happy with the decision yeah. because you can't risk uh, 18-day hamstring chasing Cam Rayner around for two hours in the heat. Yes, Jim, I'm being serious. He's being serious. <laughs> Diddy is the sub for oh, Brisbane. Oh, He's going to be... Oh, oh, tell you what. Don't... This is Jim's problem. He Jim just reads right. out. Yeah. He reads Dan, out anything. Don't this. put anything on the teleprompter. <laughs> he will literally read anything. What are you talking about? They need a bit of speed on the ground. <laughs> We're slipping around everywhere. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. <laughs> Let's go. I don't want to go there. Just a beaver Mol pops Scal up. asks, uh, yeah. Alex, are you the better Donnelly or is Matty? Oh, Matty Donnelly's got me covered. <laughs> he is, yeah, he does a lot for the Swans. There you go. Nice one. So Callum Mills is out. Dane Rampy will be captain for the Swans. Yep. Seemingly, which is kind of neat. Yeah, Evan, that's a, Evan, he'll be a good captain. Said that today that he'll be captain. Sure. Uh, I did put my hand up and I did not get picked. So. No. Oh. Tough. Just another grand final disappointment for you, mate, Jim. <laughs> Each year I'm like, well, I'll play. And they're like, who are you? <laughs> Get out of here. I'm like, well, okay. Fair yeah, play. Okay. I'm not okay. on your list. I'll just leave. Leave the oh, – don't have to go call security. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> anyway, um, outside of that, little other bits and bobs. To stick with the grand final, it came out that Katy Perry's being paid five million bucks. Five, oh. So a million per song. She's doing five songs. That is ridiculous. How much would they have to pay you to play five songs, Stats Boy? Oh, whoa. I'd say what? Stats guy million, would do a million. lot of things for twenty bucks. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, I'd say I'd say five. Just yeah, five five bucks. Why not? <laughs> to dress up as Katy Perry. Oh, geez. Okay, I, I, I'd want five million for that. <laughs> <And to> perform <laughs> in front of a hundred thousand people. Let's I'd, talk this out. I'd want uh, five million for that. I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What about what about you? Uh, twenty bucks and twenty bucks. <laughs> I go. told you twenty bucks. Uh, as I said, as I tell the five year old all the time, I do a lot of things. For twenty bucks. Where's your money? He's That's like, true. I don't have any. I'm like, get a job. <laughs> But five million for five songs, Katy Perry. It's that's like a, that's, that's a an egregious waste of money. It is a lot for of someone money. that's. It's just a, a Robbie got a lot one. Of money. Wait, really? Yeah. Robbie sure. Williams' price just like went absolutely <laughs> through the roof when they inevitably turned to him when Carlton were in the grand final next year and uh, bring him back. Right. So I've got a few, a few comments just going saying. on there yeah. as well. <laughs> five, five songs, songs for free. free. I heard him sing fireworks. <laughs> Pretty good. Don't. Yeah. No. No. Oh, we got catters in the comments as well. Because so baby, you're a fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'll save that one for Saturday, apparently. Cheers, Catters. Uh, other little bits and bobs. Lockie Hunt is <coughs> retiring. 199 games. Played in the 2016 Woo. Premiership. Woo. Well, he was a good He was a good player. He, he, 2016 he was, Premiership. We love uh, top spot Maltese. He was a lock for 20 plus uh, for a few years there. I love a bit of Lockie Hunter. Hmm. Uh, Charlie Dixon. As predicted by everyone. Solid career, but he had to go, yeah. Everyone go. at the SCG basically retired him off last Friday. He got yeah. there, ah, Charlie! Good last game, pal! He was unreal, 2020 All-Australian, three-time port leading goal kicker, but, yeah, just the yeah. last couple of years. Have there been was a cliff, and yeah. he went over it yeah. this year. It's like Homer. I'm going to make it. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't so much, like, fall off it as, like, drove off it as fast as he could, <laughs> like Thelma and, Thelma and Louise or something. Yes. Uh, but an amazing, amazing footballer, and he's pomp. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what do we got? There's Katy Perry of... got me acting up. She still got it. Not going to lie. <laughs> I'll pay that. MOB. Yeah. Uh, Isaac Cumming is nominating Adelaide. That's where he wants to go from yeah. the Giants. That's and a big win for Adelaide. I think. Very good. Port, Port, I thought he mm-hmm. might have gone to Port. Yeah. He might go back in defense there for Adelaide. They do need a defender. Yeah, I think they that's just a... need help in general. He's a yeah. great player. Yeah. Uh, other little bits. Nick Rewalt. Returning home. Everyone's going to Channel 7. <laughs> and going to Channel 7. <laughs> Everyone's going there. <laughs> Don't know how many problems he's still got in Australia. We might find out. <laughs> Maybe at least he doesn't have to live in America anymore. I think that unless, was, unless I think he's that living was, in America. I think that's the least of his troubles. Yeah. Stats, guys. No, I, mean, I know, I know. I'm just, yeah, a lot of water to go into that. I don't want to talk about anything else. <laughs> Do some digging in your own. Google it. Um, <laughs> Onion Nick Rewalt. And then the last and stupidest story of the day. The uh, best story. Of Peter the day. requesting the Western Bulldogs to change their club name and mascot. What uh, the? I thought this was a joke. And apparently it is 100% real. There was a gallon who wrote it like in, in, the, in the article. This is not a joke. The Western Bulldogs have been demanded by Peter to be renamed. No, 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 no. The demand <laughs> is such a, it's a strong word, uh, way of saying re- uh, They've requested. requested, right? They've nah, gone, hey, here's an idea. Can you change your name? And the Western Bulldogs go, no. <laughs> and that's the end of it. Yeah, but can we say what Peter want them, want them to change their They're name? They're like, to? right. So well, their big problem. So Peter is, Peter's point <clears throat> Is basically like, right. Sounds like we're uh, talking about a person every short time we say <laughs> Short nosed breeds have a struggle, have, have a big problem, you know, breathing. Breathing, breathing ob- yeah, obviously. Yeah, and so do. this is actually a thing. So having uh, lived overseas with a dog, 
Mm -hmm. when we're actually getting our dog. And you're like, if we even decide to move back to Australia, what can we do about getting said dog home? True. And short-nosed breeds can't actually fly long haul. A lot of them. Oh, wait, yeah. really? Yeah, a bunch oh. of them suffocate. Die. I yeah. didn't even know So that. with the lower pressures, they go. can actually suffocate. So we actually got a uh, Peter. I hardly know her. Uh, <laughs> the, so the Bulldogs thing is like, yeah, it's a specific breed. And uh, they go on to say, well, they're bred in specifically deformities, like for the way they look and stuff. Uh a lot of people can rightly say, butt out of it, Peter, shush. Like, but that's yeah. your job. So that's their job to go, hey, this is a thing about animals. Don't, don't do that. Everyone's rightly also being able to go, shut up, nerds. Like, don't care. Off you go. And that's fine. I think there's far, 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 far more pressing issues that Peter should be dealing with Absolutely. than the Western Bulldogs changing their nickname to... The Western, Western mutts. mutts. Oh, we got another one in the comments. Jack Carroll. Western pigeons has a nice ring to it. I don't mind that. Isn't there a pigeons a in the pigeons VFL? There? No, no, no. When was the last time you watched the VFL? <laughs> what are they like? Or possible? No. What, what are Werribee and like seagulls? Uh, is seagulls down. There's Williams seagulls. Down seagulls. No one. Why would you yeah. want to be a pigeon? The rat of no, this guy. You don't want to be. We're gonna be Yarrawonga pigeons. Don't mind the dogs. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. Peter should look. I, I appreciate them aiming high and going. Phew. Here's a lot of free publicity for us. Let's just do this. That'll be pretty fun. I mean, I did watch the... It's basically like us going, hey, uh, AFL Today has come out and said that Eddie Maguire should not hire us to host Footy Classified next year. <laughs> but we would that do is, it. No, we would no, we wouldn't. That's true. Eddie, you can't... <laughs> you're not coming. Yeah. Well, we you can't get us. I, I'm, I we not. are off the table. <laughs> yeah. AFL Today remains loyal to AFL Today. We are not going to host ca Footy Classified next no year. No matter how much no matter money how much you, you want to pay us, yeah. we're hey, not going to do it. I'm not saying... I'm not agreeing Shut with up, these two. Shut up, stats guy. I'm not a part of this. We legally own you in the contract. Hey, ever seen a dude thrown from this studio into the Yarra? Once, yes. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> it's just great publicity for Peter. Whatever the dogs are. I mean, I did them. just watch the uh, documentary on uh, binge about how they wanted to stop uh, chimpanzee ownership in America. Yeah, which well, I mean, I that, kind of agreed with, especially after that, that ripped that lady's face off. Yeah, yeah it's like. He just Here ripped off go. like another guy's face off earlier. Didn't he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those true, weird yeah. chimp arms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough of that. Come on, call them the Werribee sewers, says Lowell's cow. How about the where? Like I don't know the Western cauliflowers. Like, there's a lot. <laughs> The Western broccolis, uh, the yeah, Western nah. veggies. What about the lettuce? The, I mean, yeah, there's well, lots of lettuce being grown around nah. the Werribee area. Like, that's what it's all about, right? You got a lot of the, I don't know, shall we say, uh, you know. Greens. There's a that lot of, the lot of veggie, veggies in, being grown. <laughs> Talk about intimidating why, why is it? It's because there's a lot of, uh, yeah, sewage runoff and they yeah, can yeah. use it all. It grows very well over there. Oh, that's, a that's a stretch. Just call them the Western Christus. I think I've told that story <laughs> yeah. on the show before. How you, have, my, yeah. you thought they all were there. <laughs> well, they might have been there. Like, oh, you mean Cousin Ange? Yeah, my old man and my grandfather, actually. Uh, we, we built a shed in Werribee. Exactly, and, yeah, uh, yeah. For a, what was it, a veggie grower Christus. They were awesome, mm. the Christu brothers. Nice. Anyway, should we preview, I don't know, there's a game on Saturday? The biggest I like game how of I'm the all year. about grand final, and then we renamed the Werribee VFL team. Yeah. Are we going to, we all... Just a bit of everything, why not? I think we should do this. Yeah. Let's do it. It's time cool. to preview the 2024 <laughs> AFL Grand Final. Final, 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 final. <laughs> there is a team in this Grand Final called the Sydney Swans, Alex Donnelly. Yes. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And, of course, this preview is brought to you by our friends at Top Sports. So we've got a lot of thoughts and some numbers that we'll throw at you. Yep. One of those numbers is that the Sydney Swans are $1.72 favourites at the moment with Top Sport. Yep. Yeah. Basil Anker's in the comments. There we go. Hey, Welcome, we love Basil Anker. So $1.72 favourites, stats boy, and four and a half point favourites if you want to give them a handicap. Ooh. How do we feel about the four and a half? So we, I think that's about right. because We hit on this on Wednesday show, right? Yes. And yes. it felt like, I think it was actually shorter when it started. Three right? and a half. Three and a half. And I yep. felt like it should have been five and a half, maybe. So four it's landing six, at four and a half. Yeah, I'm okay yeah. with that. Yep. I and think, the yeah. Brisbane Lions, $2.12. It seems right. It's like, all right, it's going to be really close. Everyone thinks it's going to be really close, but people are going, oh, Sydney have the edge because they look a little bit stronger. So I don't I don't mind the odds at this stage, yeah. Lowell's Cow Productions asked the question there, what is it with all the folks in the media picking the Lions? Makes Ooh. no sense as Lions have had a tougher entry into the grand final. Because they saw them do it at the MCG last Saturday. It's the most, yeah, re it's the do, most recent thing most in their recent minds. recent MCG. Yeah, that's true. 
You could also I'm, say battle hardened. Yeah. Playing the best footy we've seen them play for a long time. And they've also have a good record lately against the Swans, which we'll get into. Also have a bunch of just up and under. Grunt, <laughs> they've got grunty boys. That's a good long head boys. Yeah. They've also got a lot of flair. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Right. So Sydney, the favourites, $1.72. Brisbane, $2.12. The yep. over-under. And you've dug into this one, Stats Man. Of course. One seventy-two and a half. <laughs> Sell us on it. Or do you want to talk about it in a second? Uh, no, we'll go for talk, it talk about it now, I reckon. We yeah. might as well. So we've got, we've got, I've got a lot of different stats. I'm not going to say on either one, but we'll make a decision afterwards. So the last four grand finals have gone over the total points. Then we've got three of the last four Swans games have gone under the total points. And seven of the last nine Lions games have gone under the total points. So Jeez. the Lions and Swans lately have had a lot of games go under just because obviously really good defenses as we've talked about for weeks. Yep. Uh, but... Seven of the last nine meetings have gone over the total points. This is between the two of them. So when they play against each other, it seems to go over, and every other match has been going under lately. So it's a bit of a tough one, but the last four grand finals have gone over. I think. So the last four grand finals have been gone over. Yeah. That, Just. A lot of them were very close. Yeah. That is like surprising, isn't it? Yeah, usually. You sort of dig into that and go, hang on a second, four straight? Before short. the last four seasons, you go, you look at a grand final and you go, all right, it's really a bit more congested, a bit more like few more errors and things like that because, I don't know, it's grand final, everyone's sort of lifting the pressure. But the last four, even last year where a, peop- a lot of people thought it would go under, I think we even said... The went over by a kick. When it, it was like, yeah, I think it was like eight or ten points or something yeah. like that it went over. But they have gone over. So And 172, I, I think it might go over again. Well, here's some more stats. Mm. Offensively, Sydney were top of the league. Yep. Yep. 97 points a game. Beautiful. Brisbane, third, 93.4. That's pretty good. You've got two top three offences. You might as well go over then, surely. Or contra! Because <laughs> Sydney had the third best defence. Hey, what was the difference, Alex, between the third and like the seventh and all that sort of gear? I think it was like four points. Yeah, a couple of sure. points. So, yeah. And Brisbane was six. So we do have two this teams. This is including finals including games. Because at, at the end of the season, Swans were seventh and yep, first, yep, yep. To, first to seventh was literally seven points. Brisbane yep. also have gone to six because they've conceded 185 last two weeks. So that's yep. just yeah, something to Yeah, and the Swans kept port to that's just 60 or whatever we kept them to. Exactly. So Brisbane, and with all of their games, yeah. ranks sixth. So... You've got two teams that are firmly in that perfect, perfect correlated premiership window. Yep. Uh, top six for offense and defense. Sydney first and third. Brisbane third and sixth. Yep. So by rights, Sydney win this in a canter, right? <laughs> well, if you got Surely. just going off the pure stats. Well, you're yeah. the stats guy. You are what the are stats you? guy. You should be the absolute wonk who's like, well, the stats I've got some this. stats that back up Brisbane later. All right, let's go then. We'll get into that. But right. do we want to say where we're going over under first? I think All right, over under. What are you guys choosing? I'm probably, I feel like the inexorable push is probably towards the over. Yeah. 172 uh, yeah. and a half. I feel like offensively both of these teams have the wherewithal to go into like this. I think we'll see what we've seen the last couple of weeks in these finals is the first eight minutes of the game. Scrappy as all hell as yeah. they all try to figure it out. And then it just goes, skadoosh, opens up a little bit as they figure out what's going on. Yeah. And both these <laughs> ter- teams are very explosive. They move the ball very quickly and can put on scores in a very short amount of time. That's so, what I'm leaning towards. Because the over and the – like the first half, you'll be like, you, I think the first half you'll be worried about hitting the over, but then both teams have been dominating in the second half. So like well, Brisbane Brisbane have kicked true. 20 goals uh, other than – yeah, Brisbane came against Carlton. Since then, they've kicked 20 goals to 11 in the second half. So they've been dominating in the second half. Then Swans, Overall this Swans year, really though, Brisbane are negative 100 points yeah. in the last quarter. Yeah, but they've been struggling in the last quarter in the regular season. Yeah, so. That's what I mean. But in yeah. the finals, they've been awesome in the second half. Yeah. I mean – I think it goes over, says Lowell's over, yeah. cow. Yeah, I'm over. Over? I reckon, this I reckon over. just, though, yeah. So who do we think it favours if it does fly over? Sydney. Sydney We've right? said all year, uh, if it's been in the shootout, it's the Swans. That was the thing with Port Adelaide probably, last yeah. week. If it's high scoring, it's the Swans. If it's that 70 to 70 slog, it leans to Port Adelaide. Brisbane can kick points, too. But I think just Sydney, when they get rolling, the other one, them. Brisbane is, also just love kicking Yeah, points. behind. So, yeah. yeah, that's the other reason. If... if both teams are having a lot of shots. Just say they have the same amount of shots, you're still backing Sydney because Sydney they the kick most way accurate. more accurate. See, the thing is you say Sydney the most accurate team this mm-hmm. season and Brisbane the most inaccurate. So those things eventually revert back to the mean. And Zach Bailey probably kicks like four straight on Saturday now. But Brisbane were accurate last week. But in, in, they Second haven't half. shown an accurate performance two weeks in a row for a yeah. while. So it'll be interesting. So the one thing that sort of sticks in my <laughs> brain is obviously where this game is as well. With yes. this over with this over and we'll get to actually like at the venue kind of year. Uh, because you have obviously a pretty fraught history with uh, the Brisbane Lions of the <laughs> yeah. MCG, Ugh. as we'll dig into in a second. Uh, 
But also, the grand final replay. What was that in round 23? Yeah, Brisbane Collingwood. Collingwood. So Brisbane Collingwood. Yeah, Brisbane. Ruled. They crapped the bed, Brisbane. <laughs> Absolutely just blow this awesome lead. Uh, but that actually just snuck under. That was 79 78. I feel like, like though, that's the ex- but yeah. I think it was also they had nine goals ten by yeah. the end of the third quarter. Their big problem is they didn't do anything in the fourth, and away they went mm. and they blew that game. And so I guess that's the sort of thing where you look at this and go, right? If that's the sort of Sydney approach, I feel like they would be pushing away much quicker than Collingwood could because Collingwood yep. couldn't score at all all season. So yep. uh, <laughs> that's the one sort of MCG game this year as well. There was also the sixty eighty two game where they beat Melbourne. Yeah. Which was hilarious. That was like around Easter. That was April. That was, so, that yeah. was when they sort of charged him back up. Yeah. yeah. And, and the Swans then last are, week, 85-95 yeah. against the Cats, yep. which Swan- feels like it could be much more what this sort of falls into like on either side. Yeah. And the Swans have gone 118-77-102 in their three games at the G this year. Not bad. Yeah, okay. We're going over. We're going, we're going over, we're going, boys. We're all agreed on that one. We're going Lock over. it in, Eddie. Not us being on footy classified, <laughs> that's for sure. Don't you, you can't offer us what... Whatever amount of money you have, you're twisting my arm. Nah, I'm still yeah. saying you can no. Twist my arm. I'm still, he, he's yeah, like, I'll put another zero on a gym. <laughs> I still say no. He's like, well, that's ten bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right yeah, <laughs> two more zeros. He's like, a hundred. <laughs> like, nah, just you keep going up. <laughs> yeah. Couple of comments there. Uh, Boston uh, Aries, Swans 15 plus, Jake Lloyd Norm. That'd just be really rubbing it into my Four. face for saying dropping. Yeah. Uh, then rolled in Swans into broadsiding to win the Cox Plate, chuck in Penrith for the NRL. Fair. If, I don't know about the uh, Cox Plate one. But you broad know siding, yeah. Broad if he wins on Saturday, we'll be favourite for the okay, Cox Plate. That's a, that's a good Jake Lloyd wins the Norm Smith. I'll freak out. He and man for Norm. What time will I be back home if the Swans win? I've told my partner, don't expect me home Saturday night. Whoa. Yeah. Party animal she, over here. you worried about the other, Party animal. the other family that you've got going or not? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, what wait. about your other girlfriend? Does she, <laughs> yeah. does she know about her or not? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Party time. <laughs> Settle down there, Alex Diddy Donnelly. Oh, there we go. Uh, give, Lucky us this some, is live. give us some head to head action She's here. Not watching. I was joking. Speaking of Diddy, head to head action. <laughs> Let's how do is, it. How is this man still in the air? Um, all right, head to head. We've got Brisbane obviously won the last meeting and the only meeting this season, 79 to 77. Probably one of the games of the season. Was it? it was a really, really fun game. Need to break that game down a little bit more, too. Yeah, we can. We can do that. Uh, Lions have won the last three meetings by an average of 14 points. As we just talked about, uh, Brisbane not finishing well, but Sydney, they don't obviously start well, which we've talked about all season. Brisbane have won the first quarter in 14 of their last 15 matches. Ooh. And Sydney's uh, opponent has been the first to three goals in 12 of their last 14. They've also only last won... Last week, that was 12 of 13. Exactly. On the way back! <laughs> They're on the way back in Sydney with the first quarters. Uh, Sydney as well, they've only won the first quarter in 10 of their last 25. So so 10 times this year. So that's the only thing I'm worried about for Sydney. If they if Brisbane yeah. get off to a really hot start and then they have a really good third quarter, then yeah, they might I mean, have a bit of a lead. Brisbane did get off to the hot start this year. It was like five goals to one at yeah, quarter Sydney time. Yeah, quarter back again. But yeah. uh, I think the Swans had kicked like one goal five or mm. something. It was just, ugh. And then Brisbane, actually, I didn't also mention, three. have won five of the last six against the Swans, which surprised yep. me a little bit. Five of the last six, you Yeah, say. but they don't, and it's weird. The Swans in Brisbane for the last, apart from the grand final, they've only played each other like once a year. Mm. So you had that, uh, so last year when I'm Brisbane, surprised they played it was in year. the middle of the year, Brisbane were flying and the Swans were like trying to figure out what everything was. I was in that, remember when Carlton and Sydney were terrible in the middle of last year? Mm-hmm. Same point. The year before, it was at like round four. It was one of the best games of the year. Chucky Cameron took it. it was yeah, Chucky that was against awesome. Buddy. It Buddy was, great. was awesome that game. And yeah. I think the one before that was COVID when it was like Logan McDonald and Errol's debut and they both kicked a bunch of goals. Mm. Nice. Cool. A couple of questions there. Yeah. Bazando. We've got some good questions, actually. Grundy, Norm Smith with no big O. It's a big he, question. Has the, he has the chance. He, he has the chance. Uh, and Burnson <laughs> Boy, can Lions win without first ruckman? I know That's we're yeah. talking about Grundy. Darcy Fort is... Genuinely, like he's not going to be that good around the ground, but he's a good ruckman. Like, uh, yeah, but that's so that's like he's better than a lot of second ruckman. But that's where Grundy's going to get him is around the ground, possibly. But I genuinely think Darcy Ford will actually have a good game here. So Boston Airs asks, given both teams don't play the MCG, is it a neutral ground? Well, yes, quite technically, yes. Well, it is. It's it's a hundred percent a neutral ground. Exactly how it works. Yep. Which team has to work harder to get the crowd going? Probably Brisbane. 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 Uh, but hey, we've actually got some more MCG stats, stats man. We do, yes. So, uh, as Alex and I have talked about, uh, I think on the other shows, both 2-1 and one this year at the MCG. you got the Swans who beat the Pies and the Hawks, but lost to the Tigers at the MCG this year, which, that was just an outlier. I'm honestly just going to forget about that game, because how the hell did they lose to the Tigers? It was round five. That, so is, yeah. that is wild, that the first team lost to the last team. 
The Lions, their uh, two wins were against the D's and the Cats. Obviously, the Cats, uh, the prelim last week at the MCG. But then they also lost to the Pies in that big choke. So that was a little bit of a worry. Looking at the they actual... Got, did I get belted by Hawthorne or was that at the Dome? Uh, no, that was in... It's always in... They always play in Launceston, I'm pretty sure. I thought it was it. Uh, maybe Danby double check that one. Uh, but last four seasons, Swans are 6-8 and eight at the G. Lions 3-7. and seven. Then uh, the uh, dreaded stat for the Lions. Last 10 seasons, Swans are 15-14. and 14, Got a positive record. They're like, oh, we'll take that. Lions, 3 and 16, which oh we've boy. talked about all year. Uh, but the Hawthorne last three wins have points. come since 2020. All those three wins have come since 2020. So two they've turned have, it around a bit. Two of them have been against the Demons. Yes. But they, yeah, their yeah. recent record isn't as bad. But recent form. Recent form isn't too bad. So Thank you, Joel Hawks, Duncan. Was it Marvel. Yep. Marvel, there we go. Yeah. Swans will be loud AF. I think that's exactly right. Yeah. And Adams misses out. I'm loving it as a Collingwood supporter says, Manny, I mean. That's just mean. <laughs> that it feels brutal. mean, but like. <laughs> I did say 12 months ago, I was like, I don't think he fits in the Swans lineup. And it. Well, he's not up. even been named as an emergency Actually, because we're going to get into the teams. Yes. Grand final teams. Let's go. Teams, teams. Sydney, with some of the finest words in footy, no changes. That's what you want going into a grand final. Yeah, 100%. absolutely. Yeah. When you've won it's a big It's been one really change from the three finals, which is Callum Good Mills. stats from, uh, thank you very much, so, Boston Airs. One of my absolute totems when it comes to any sport, when I'm talking about NFL, NBA, AFL, I know what this is going to be. Is obviously continuity. Yep. yep. That's all it is. Absolutely. Continuity is king when it comes to team sports of this sort of nature. And Sydney have it. Brisbane, losing Big O, he's out. In comes Darcy Ford. That's their only change. It's because it's the Ruckman, it is a worry. Like, it, oh, but you look back at no, how many teams that, have won grand like, finals without good Ruckman. No, 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 but like, it is their Ruckman who has been one of their key he's points. He's been good, yeah. When you look at their clearance stats with Oscar McInerney in the Ruck compared to Joe compared to Darcy <laughs> Fort, the stats drop off the face of the earth. Yeah. If it was like the, just the first person came out, if it was like a Callum Archie or a Zach Bailey, would be like, oh, yeah, can replace him. Yep. But it's your Ruckman. Like, if the Swans are without Brody Grundy, would be like, Lions win. You also can't discount how much of a fun Gumby he is. Well, he's, like, he's he, such a weird unit. He is. I love him. He's all elbows and just these huge, big, <laughs> long arms. And, he's and he had an awesome game head. against the Swans earlier in the year. Yeah. Like, he was fantastic. He was, he was really good. He is tough. Goals, didn't he? 22 touches and 27 hitouts. So yeah. that's, that's awesome. Let's talk it out. Yeah. Sydney Swans, Dane Rampy, Tom McCartan, Nick Blakey. Love it. Jake Lloyd, Harry Cunningham, Lewis, the Pelican, Melican. <laughs> Melican. He definitely can. <laughs> James Jordan, who does he go to? Ooh. Dane Zorka. Yeah, I, I think he has to go to Dane Zorka. Chad Chunley Warner. Yep. Ollie Florent. Love it. Luke Parker, soon to be North Melbourne Kangaroo. Luke <laughs> oh, I don't believe that. I don't know about Logan that. Logan McDonald at centre half forward. Whoa, where roll on that forward half flank he's been. Forward right. half flank. No, I, I think I know what they're doing here. Yeah. Tom Papley, forward pocket. Amari party full party. forward and Will Hayward in the other pocket. Yep. The followers. Brody <laughs> Grundy. He man. Isaac Henney. And our good mate, yes. Cheeks. James Robot. <laughs> Cheeks. Love Cheeks. Needs a change bench at the moment of your five. No. When will they announce the actual. It'll be Robbie Fox. Uh, yeah, I think if they go on no changes, so you, your, Robbie Fox your will sub, be the sub is who's named on the bench. Let yep, me have a look obviously. at the app. It might actually say that. No, nah, you don't have to name the sub to an hour before the game. Yeah, right that's there. true, actually. Yeah. Matt Roberts, Braden Campbell, Justin McInerney. Not to be confused with Oscar. I've hated that all week. Like, like, what's happened to Justin? Oh, yeah. no. oh, God. <laughs> I was like, no, wait, no, no. This is oh, Juzzy. Yeah, every time. Uh, Hayden McLean. <laughs> is your McLean showing? He better on Saturday. And Robbie Fox. <laughs> yep. Emergencies, not named. Taylor Adams didn't even make the plane ride. Jews. <laughs> Tough. Well, he didn't even they, get named. That's a bit. They didn't stiff. name him emergency last I know, week. That, Horses literally just shoved him off a boat in the middle of the harbour. North Melbourne can get him next year, stats guy. Oh, we're just getting everyone. There's sharks in the harbour. <laughs> anyway. Lowell's Row cow, bottom yeah. for 15 tackles, says Lowell's cow. I'm Honestly, on board. What, you can actually bet on that. He on named top sport. He had 12 tackles have, last week. I think. Love game. that. I'd personally love to see Luke Parker for Norm Smith, says Lowell's cow as well. Yeah. Lions are going to be reacting to the Swans more often in ruck contests rather than following their own plans. It's a very good point yeah. from did the Swans win. So it allows the Swans to have the setup advantage. 100%. They know what they're doing. Row bottom random one for Lowell's Cow. $2.70 with top sport for most tackles. That's a great bet. I feel like that's a great bet. Lock it in, Eddie. Mm. But yep. not us being on footy classified. <laughs> we refuse all advances. Channel 7, however, if you want to kick the tyres on what we Fox do. Fox footy as well, you know. Yeah, just saying. Anyway. SBS. Brisbane Lions. SBS. Let's do the Brisbane Lions line up. Lion up. Yeah, 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 we yeah, get we it. Hurry up. Boys, You've had boys, some, look, boys, come along with me. Yeah, yeah. It's a journey. It's a journey that we're putting on with the <laughs> AFL Today show. 
Oh, well, that's a, I don't mind that comment. Zay, Xavier but. points out, I still think Cripps is going to get three votes for this game. <laughs> that's a great call. Yeah, yeah great somehow call, he's going to win the Norm Smith. And he's <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's going to win the Norm Smith. He's going to win, uh, yeah, best right. on ground. All right, let's see these Lions yeah. line up. Uh, down back, Zorko <laughs> named in the back pocket yeah. next to Harris Andrews, next to oh, Connor McKenna. Yeah. Darcy Wilmer, oh, Jack Payne. He likes planes. And Ryan Lester on Can we half talk back. about Connor McKenna? He was the sub last week. He was so he's named on week. field. There we so go. So Logan Morris is probably the sub. Logan yeah, Morris, I was just surprised. Yeah. Ainsworth bumps. There you go. Uh, so Wilmot, Payne, and Lester on that halfback line. Yeah. In the center line, Jasper Fletcher, Will Ashcroft, and Hugh. Huge. Huge. McCluggage. I think I know where Jordan's going. Half uh, forward, mm. Cam Rayner, <laughs> Joe Danny. Who? Love you, Joe Duckets. And Jared. Jared Barry? <laughs> Uh, full forward line, Chucky Cameron, Eric the Hippie Hoopwood, and Zach Bailey. Followers, you've got Darcy Ford there, Josh Dunkley and Lockie Neal, two-time Brownlow medalist. I hated – I'm so happy we didn't get Lucky Lucky three times. Yeah. Like, you have to start calling him Lucky 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 as opposed to Lucky Lucky Lucky. Lucky Lucky Lucky. Okay. <laughs> Interchange bench, Kai Lohman, the man with the greatest hair. This is a bit of a hair off this game too. Yeah. There's a lot of nice hair in this Callum game. Callum Archie, Logan Morris, Brandon Stasevich. He's a weapon. And no rounds with That is so. a, I know, I'm just comparing both benches. Obviously, you can compare the whole team. That is a very good bench for the game that they played last week. Loman and Calamarche were probably in their best last week, and yeah. they're starting on their bench. So, Well, I mean, this one's is no shirk as either, yeah. with Matt no, Rivers, but, McInerney, and Aiden McLean. No, but they're not, st- oh, anyway, I think. None the, of them are stars. I think they're on the bench. No, I Still think the uh, Brisbane interchange is a bit stronger. That's so, Fort saying. goes in, big O out. That's the only change. Yeah. The umpires, Nick Foote, Matt Stevich, Simon Meredith. Stevich. Stevich. Unless it's <laughs> Craig Fleer. Sure. Are we, are we reading out umpires now? Well, you've got to give them credit. They got picked. Ah, no one cares, though. Don't have to give anyone credit. <laughs> Don't have to do I'm it. Try, I'm trying to get Matt Stavick on side because still not over 2016. Yeah, he, he was in 2016, wasn't he? Righto. Boston Airs. Where do we stand on coaches going down to the sideline? I'm not a fan. Will we see Fagan come down? Does Horse go down? Fagan will be down there as he has Horse been all season. Horse doesn't want to ruin the. Um, Longmire will the be in the coaches. <laughs> Longmire will be in the coaches box beating up Dean Cox. <laughs> like. Yeah. He just beats him up all game. Give him the old whapang. Yeah. Uh, I think it's stupid. The what? Coaching on the ground. Yep. I don't mind it because you don't have to like relay messages all the time. I, okay, do you say a basketball coach? Imagine if they had to stand in like the thing all the time. A basketball coach can see what's happening because it's over there. Because yeah, it's like literally meeting Jim away. If you're, literally, away. Oh, you're, if you're, if you're the on view. the footy ground, it's like, who had that? True. I don't know. What's going on over there? That's a fair call. <laughs> what did he just do? <laughs> it's like, you don't know what's happening. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I like this, Lowell's cow. How did you convince Justin Lepich to host? Exactly. I said that at the start. I'm Justin Lepich. <laughs> oh, Zay's got Daniel a few Merrick. questions as Here well. Here we go. All right, lads. Give me your thoughts. Expected crowd <laughs> attendance. Uh, 99,372. 98,700. That's boy. What did you say? What did you say? Like 99,372. You're going to price us right. 99,400. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then what's the other ones? Who wins and Who by wins how much? Who wins by how much? Oh, we'll get into that. that. Norm Smith, how yeah. much? If Swans lose, Horse is four and one, one and four. One and, one and four. Yeah, no, it's one and five, isn't it? One and five. One and five. I think. Yeah, that is, is a concern. concern. It will 100%. be. Yeah. Yeah. People should yes, be talking Xavier, about it. it's a concern. <laughs> Braden Spooner, Archie, four goals. Jeez. He Price did well last week. would be pretty gnarly. Yeah. Let him play. Time for coaching is done. I like that. The Swans have horse in the box and Leon on the ground. That's yeah. a great call. Actually, yeah, they do. And Callum Mills will be actually, going Actually, I'm going there 100. I've changed Where does Stewie Dew hang out? Box. Actually, I don't mind this then if Fags goes down. Not bad. Yeah. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Uh, Lowell's cow, you can't get it anymore in the MCG. It's 100,024. Mm. 101, 399. Yeah. So unless they really rack up the standing standing room only in the uh, bars at the MCC. Yep. So Getting with all this, in, all this in mind, with those teams named, yep. with the setups <laughs> laid out, let's have a look at some player stats because this leads into some of our best bets and our key three, the three players that we're looking at for each team. Yep. But stats boy, give us... Some more stats. Yeah, I'll go the uh, Lions ones, and I'll let Alex talk about the sure. ones because he's very keen to talk about Logan McDonald. We've got Charlie Cameron has got 11 goals across his last five games. Been always always pretty consistent with the amount of goals he kicks. Kicked one goal against the Swans last many, though, and has gone goalless five times in 10 games against the Swans. Alex was very keen to find that one out. They, uh, who usually plays on him? Harry Maybe. Cunningham. Harry Cunningham the every best time. small defender in the comp. Yeah, so Harry Cunningham has done a great job on him over the years. And Chucky at the MCG... Hasn't got Is the it struggles a bit as well. Greatest, yeah. uh, one either. Usually we're doing yeah. stats to talk him up, but this one I'd be saying stay away from the Benning because yeah, Cunningham absolutely destroys him. Because yeah, and we we said it about um, Willie Rioli last week, mm-hmm. and we said it about uh, Brent Daniels in the qualifying yeah. final. Like, Cunningham is just in great form at the moment. Yep. In 24 games, of the MCG, Chucky Cameron has 33 total goals. So 
So yeah, not that's great. not great for his yeah usual high. And standards. the one goal that Chucky kicked against Brisbane. Uh, against the Swans earlier this year. Cunningham was on the bench at the time. Mm, there you go. Yeah, uh, a bit more positive for the Lions. Joe Danaher, uh, before last game, he went into the ruck. So I'm, I'm taking out last game. He kicked 24 goals in nine games before last game. So that's an There's awesome There's a man record. who loves the MCG as well, Joey Duck. He loves yeah. the MCG, which we can touch on. Uh, he also kicked three goals three last time against Sydney. That's that's the full Joe experience. As we like got him. full Joe because it was all first three, quarter. Yeah, he snapped one around goals, the corner. Three crap. And then he misses. tried some stupid banana that missed. It was, gr it was great full watching Joe. full Joe. So I reckon full Joe on the weekend is a bit more safer to back than uh, Charlie Cameron. Yep. And then uh, we've got some goal kickers from the Swans. Uh, yeah, so if you have a look at Logan McDonald, he's got three plus in his last three games at the MCG, MCG but it's two plus in his last four. Are you concerned about his weird big dumb head? And his no. ankle. And his ankle. Yeah. No. What, 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 what about, about his, head? his weird just look on his face? <laughs> he always looks like he's frowning. He's yeah. just got one he of does those, look a bit he's sad. Got, he's yeah. got some of those eyebrows where you're just like, are you angry? He's like Uncle Leo. He's from West Uncle Leo. Leo. Uncle Leo from bloody Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Yeah. Uncle he's Leo. like, why is he frowning? Stop frowning at me! <laughs> he's Logan, from, I didn't do anything! <laughs> he's from Western Australia and he's finally got picked for a grand final. Yeah, so he should be happy. Maybe he's going to be smiling all game. Who knows? Yeah, uh, Papley has kicked nine goals across the last four games, but kicked didn't score against Brisbane. That's because his ankle landed in the uh, river in the yeah, second quarter. Yeah, I forgot about that, actually. Yeah, so yeah. that didn't help. Uh, you have a look at Errol Goulden, 23 disposals and two goals against Brisbane. Uh, uh, Did you just call them disposals? <laughs> disposals, yeah. I'm actually kind of here for that. Disposals. <laughs> That's like what Errol Goulden gets when he kicks with his left. That's a disposal. That's yeah. a, he just... <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Off he goes. Yeah. Uh, had 27-1 and against the Lions earlier this year, but has kicked multiple goals every other game against Brisbane, so he's flying. The Lizard, 20-plus in five of his last six at the MCG. He loves the open space in the uh, MCG. Yeah, he does. As opposed to he the does. tiny confines of the SCG, <laughs> which is substantially smaller than the MCG. <laughs> I've heard. Power Prawn Stars on, by the way. In the yeah. comments, uh, we love a bit Uncle of Power Leo, Prawn Stars. Yeah. Uncle Leo. Lay uh, off my Maccas. Heaney's <laughs> averaging 27-2 and two in his last four games, but has 19, 18, and 13 in his last three against the Lions. Had 19 against them at the Gabba. I'm a little bit worried he about was him in his, getting tagged. He yeah. was in his, like, uh, he was out of all of his He-Man powers in the middle of the year. Was it Dunkley that went to him last time? Uh, I can't remember. I think yeah. it was him or Barry. Barry, I think they sort of rotated because um, they're, they're a good matchup. Where, the and then the year before, he was in the forward line, and then before that, the, that SCG game was the forward line as well. Chol right. Duncan in the comments. We've got Power Prawn Star saying, G'day, legends. Well done, the Swannies. Glad Brizzy made it. They're my third team behind Port and Brizzy. How does he have a third team? So he's. Got I, I like, I like his support, second though. team, and yeah. then yeah. the Swans were his third team. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> he just hate Talk about Vic Byer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did the Swans win? Now that Cheek says his first Brownlow votes, next yeah, year yeah, is yeah. Harry Cunningham's turn. Yeah. First I think votes. Harry Cunningham's like up to third or fourth all time in most games without <laughs> really? a Brownlow vote. <laughs> yeah. Which, fair. As if a small defender is going to get a yeah, vote. But they should. That was my point on the Wednesday. Yeah. She also sucks. I don't yeah. know what to tell you. But also, uh, good on Cheeks for getting votes. Turbocharged Golden Retriever says it's his focus face about Logan McDonald. Yeah. Focus face. Uncle Leo for the Power Prawn stuff. Uh, hey, hey, lay off my Macca, says Lol's Cow. Sydney, best team in 150 years, unstoppable, the greatest to lose to Lions by five. Oh, geez. Yeah, Thank that's you, exactly Joel. My, Duncan, uh, brutal. Dunkley goes to Heaney 100%, yeah. says Ash Hutchinson. I think he might rotate a little bit with Berry, but yeah, mainly we'll Dunkley. Dunkley. It'll be Ports interesting to see. Points out that he was on Frio. Ah, no, sorry. Yeah, Brisbane. Cool. Nice one. Any other stats? Yeah, we've there, got some other boy? stats. Uh, going away from uh, Brisbane, you got Dane Zorko has had 25 plus in eight of his last nine games. As Alex has mentioned all week, he might get a tag from who do we think? James Jordan, probably, probably. Jordan or, or Errol, because Errol could try to make him more accountable in that forward yep. line. Uh, because I think he had a bunch of the footy in the first quarter last time, and then it re they really slowed him down. Yeah, so he had 29. They didn't run a tag last time. Yeah, last time he had 29 disposals. He did get tagged against GWS, but still kicked two goals and had a lot of touches in the second half. So it'd be interesting to see if he gets tagged early, then they go, oh, we don't have to tag him as much, and then he goes, gets off the chain a bit. The I still think he can have maybe like 20 plus, but 25 is probably a bit too much. Then Will Ashcroft, we love talking about him. He's beautiful hair. He's had 20 plus disposals in each of the last six games. He's probably that really consistent one that he can back for a bet, which we'll get on into our same game multi. Very nice, stats yeah, man. Very nice. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I, I'm off. That, that, that's just a great part of the show. <laughs> See you, stats guy. <laughs> and you're done. Uh, right. With this said, so yes. you've just laid out a bunch of stats. Just the big names, yeah. Who are the three key players for each team? Yep. Well, how about we hit on some – we're fanging through these comments – Dunkley goes to Heaney 100%. Frio Souls says Power Prawn Star. <laughs> yep. Out of playing the Cats and the Granny and the Lions, I wouldn't be quite as upset with a Lions win. Fagan is amazing. I like that. Yeah. Power Prawn Star says, I feel about Victoria like a Texan feels about Mexico. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I don't let's, want to delve into that. I'll, I'll, let's, let's build the wall. Let's do it. 
<laughs> Build that wall. Ligon Street is still pretty grouse, though. Yeah, it used to be better. No, it's still uh, good. Dunkley to Heens only works outside this one's 50. Heaney would have a field day in the forward yeah, 50. We've seen, yeah, I agree we've with We've that. seen through the finals. That. Heaney keeps getting that mismatch in the forward 50, and it's just kick it to him. He's going to He's going to take a great grab, yeah. yeah. Turbocharged Golden Retriever says, Jim has the most beautiful hair, beard. You get my well, point. What, what, he's getting the love. We found your mum's uh, YouTube <laughs> yeah, account. Yeah. Checks out. <laughs> Thanks, mum. What's going to be the smooth similar to Parker marching, marching, up, marching up with the lead, matching up with the well, lead? That's what yeah. you said. I, Alex, I yeah. will talk about it in my uh, three, three key players. players. Right. Okay. Yep. Mine is going to be straight up the guts. The midfields. This is literally whoever wins this midfield battle, I think, wins the game. Yep. Sydney. Errol, Haynes, oh, you just got Chad Chandler, Water. He's just going straight. He's just going straight. Midfield. Honestly, don't mind that. Yeah. And then, who are the three most important for Brizzy? Neil, Dunkley, Ashcroft. Because McCluggage and Zorko, you can sort of play them a little bit wider. But it's literally if Ashcroft gets off the chain, if Dunkley goes to somebody else for the Swans and just goes right, grand final, the gating role. Check mm. this out. I'm Josh Dunkley. Check out my powers in the MCG. This is sick. <laughs> That could be very, very important. If Lockie Neal actually steps up and does anything, as opposed to some of the other finals he's been in. He was good on the weekend. He was awesome last He was great. 30 Where was that game played? Yeah. MCG. At, at the G, yeah. Check yeah. it out. Yep. So you're saying whoever wins the clearance battle or the Clearances, disposals? Yeah. Disposals. Yeah. Basically, whoever of these three group, or this one group of this right, is like three the players. Number two and three the ranked biggest, teams in scores from clearance this year. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The biggest impact out of these ones that right. win the game. I like that. And for Sydney, the same thing goes for Errol, goes for Heaney, goes for Chundley. Yeah. Right? If they can make the biggest impact, if they can hit the scoreboard, we know that Errol, Heaney and Chundley can kick goals more so than Neil, Dunkley and Ashcroft. Yep. They can but though. Yeah, Neil's had a couple of two plus. You've also yeah. got a Brisbane Lions forward line that now has like these ascendant small forwards who are kicking goals like it's running out yeah. of fashion. Yeah, RG so, stepped yeah. up. Yep. Uh, so I think there we go. Uh, what do we got? J Mac, Heaney, and Paps, most important for mine. For yours. Barry to Heaney is heading to forward 50. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Does Jim have sideburns? <laughs> mm, I've got a beard. Yeah. It's all connected. I think it's all okay. connected. It's all there. McCluggage first goal and Norm. Oh, I don't, don't mind, mind that, that from yeah. Ash. I've got I'll the, talk about lots him later. about McCluggage, yeah. Cluggs to get two goals in a row, take it to the bank. Ooh, wee. I like that one too. Write that down so we can have it at home. I've actually got that as one of my best bets later. There you go. He's cool. already on top of it. All right. So mine is just literally the midfield battle. It's yep. the clearances, it's the disposals, it's whoever has the biggest sort of say I like that. in the game. Just literally those six players. Mm -hmm. Sign me up. Whoever wins out of those three on three, they win that game. Nice. That's why it's important. That's why they're yeah. key. I think we've seen Brisbane and Sydney have their forward line struggles, win it from the midfield. Yep. Alex. Uh, firstly, Brody Grundy for the Swans. This is a big opportunity for him after – Losing the grand final in 2018, obviously missing out with Collingwood uh, when they made the charge of the prelim, getting traded, going to Melbourne, seeing Collingwood win the flag, missing Big the finals for the Ds. Yeah, yeah. So this is like the ultimate, ultimate revenge on every one game, and he's got a lesser Ruckman up against him. This is his chance to dominate. If he plays a game like he did against Geelong or Carlton in the middle of the year, the Swans will dead set just win the game. Yep. Luke Parker, he will play the negating role on Harris Andrews. He Ooh. will be this year's Billy Frampton. Oh, okay. He's uh, also full name Billy Effen Frampton. <laughs> yeah. Billy Effen Frampton, grand finalist, but, uh, premiership player. <laughs> but you're also looking at Parker, who can be someone that can kick goals and is very dangerous. I like Billy Frampton, who's just the ultimate big Gumby. Yep. Harry Cunningham is the third, second week in a row for him. Shuts down Chucky Cameron. Keep him to zero goals. You are more than likely going <laughs> to win this game of footy just because of how dangerous he is. If you can keep him to less than ten touches, job done. Nice, nice. For the Lions, it's Josh Dunkley stopping Isaac Heaney. I'll talk about Heaney's record with possessions later on, but Heaney has, like, when Heaney plays well, the Swans generally I've got a thing exactly like win. that. Yeah, yeah. Cam Rayner, he's had his uh, season just to, uh, that he's blossomed into that number one draft pick everyone thought he could be. Dominating. Yeah, he was. Well, he was the number one draft exactly. pick. He wasn't playing like yeah, that. Yeah, he's like finally that. Yeah. turned into that player, you know, yep. having getting those 15s and 20s Lived and kicking a couple of goals. his uh, expectations. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. And then Calamar Chi, because I reckon he's going to try and play a negating role on the Lizard. Because if you let the Lizard just run mad loose at the MCG, look out. Yeah, be like one of those frill neck Lizards in yeah. the Outback. Yeah. He's going, dick, 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 and like chasing <laughs> after you. Like, you're like, I'm in a ute. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I don't care. Come on. <laughs> Stats yeah. boy. Yeah, exactly that. I'm going uh, Nick Blakey. I think the Lizard is just going to run right on the MCG. When the Swans play well out of defense, it's starting with him. And I think that's a, he's a big part of the team. That's I know he's uh, had like different honors and things like that, but he's underrated. I think... Next one, a bit of a left field one. Joel Amati. When he plays well, the, Sw the Swans can kick a massive score. If he kicks a couple of goals, that adds to their midfield uh, amount of goals. They he's can in get. form. And he's in form. So I'm, I'm happy to put him in there as just a key player. They need him to play well to win. I think 
Uh, the other one is Azekini. He had 19 disposals last time he played Brisbane and no goal. And uh, when How many? He, 19! 19, not 20. Which, uh, so when he doesn't have 20 disposals and a goal, the Swans are 2-4. and four. Oof. So he needs to tick off that uh, 20 disposals and a goal for them to win uh, yeah, with recent records. So that's my Swans one. And you have to put Henny in there. I think every time the Swans have won or won convincingly, Henny's just had an awesome game. He doesn't have to have a 30 and 2 goal, but I think he has to have around that 20 and a goal just to have that solid game, even if he's getting tagged. So that's a really important player there. For Brisbane, I'm going huge. Hugh McCluggage, he's, he's absolutely awesome. Dominated in the grand final last year. Uh, just think he's going to have an awesome game, especially if Neil gets tagged. Then I'm going Cam Rayner, just can change a game off his own boot. That Some of the goals he kicked last week were unbelievable. And finally, I'm going Joey Duckett's. Joey Danaher. Full Joey. Full Joey. When he's on, as he showed against uh, GWS, he can kick clutch goals. He can do a bit of everything. He's probably the, the forward you want in your team. He can go a bit wayward, but he can do a bit of everything, Joe. So he has yep. to be my one for Brisbane. So there's some comments that we've missed that have flown under the screen. Did the Swans <laughs> win? Uh, slightly different. McCartan, Juzzy, and Brody. AFL Marbles, Kai Lohman, first goal. Power Prawn Stars looking for 25 and 2 for Heaney. Joel Duncan is just trying to distract, distract the stats boy. Hi, stats boy. <laughs> he is uh, distracting me well. <laughs> Lowell's Cow, Parker could could be an amazing utility, taking intercept grabs, getting forward to kick goals. And now back to the screen. Power Prawn Star, Heaney, 25 and 2. That's $4.33 with our friends at Top Sport. Uh, Leo loves the revenge call. Uh, you can't stop Chucky, says the turbocharged golden retriever. Well, and can. is Brisbane set shot accuracy a worry? We're, yeah, we always talked a worry. About, it is a always worry, but the worry. last couple of weeks is, they've improved a little bit. Yeah, so I like that you're saying they've improved a little bit. Like uh, they've been since the second half of they went fourteen the and eleven game. last week, mm-hmm. fifteen and fifteen. Like fi- fifty percent, you will take fourteen for and fifteen yeah. against Carlton. Um, I would take fifty percent or more. Eleven and twenty-one in round twenty-four against the Bombers. <laughs> <laughs> eleven and twenty-one is ridiculous. So eleven and twelve in the game they lose by a point to the Pies. Mm. 8 and 16 in that horrible game that they lost yeah. to GWS. So this Brisbane is this year up. have kicked 347, 347. Oof. Oh. Okay, so That's the- not including all <laughs> their out in the fools as well. <laughs> yeah. Joey Danaher's Joey 62 Duckett's out have kicked fools. 1 million T on <laughs> yeah. the full. Uh, compared to the, the Swans are 355, 295. Nice. Yep. So that's substantially more yep. accurate. You can't stop my boy Heaney, says Power Prawn Star. <laughs> Met him at the Cup, took some pictures, great bloke. Naturally, I consider him my best friend. Friend forever now. Yep, fair. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. Understand. I agree. Uh, <laughs> I'm best mates with Kuda because I met him once. He I'm was best mate, We're best mates with Cheeks. Yep. No, he's best mates with us. Yeah, not I wasn't even there. Stats he, guy. I wasn't there. So. He loved us. Yeah. He's I was like, wait a second. These guys are my best friends. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> Ned Moyle and I, we're just going to go cause havoc in yeah. Vegas at some point. <laughs> Stats guy is obsessed with McLuggage. A bit concerning now, says Because he's an absolute beast. Yeah, you've asked me uh, who's Nob Smith, and I've said And look what happened videos. to the Swans that came off a Super Coast prelim in 2022. This year, Brisbane has two of those games this final series already. I was going to touch on that when we get to like our tips and yep. sort of talk that all out. Sure. Yep. Sounds good. Let's do a big question. Yep. We always have a few big questions. For both teams. Yep. You see how neat that is? Because there's two teams. Ah. Two teams in the grand final. So we'll do a big question for each. I like it. Why not? (laughs) Can the, simply, can the Lions win on the G again? I mean, sure. In a final. Yes. Without the big O. That's my worry for them. Like. I don't, I think he's a decent out, but I don't think he's a Matt. I don't, everyone's. Taking it too far. I think he's, Darcy Vaught's a decent ruckman. You just don't understand what it's, it's like gonna, to be tall, Stats The game guy. is not... I used to be a ruckman for, for <laughs> a very, very long time ago, but I used to Hit be. us up in the comments <laughs> if you think Stats Guy was ever a ruckman. Oh, yeah. I definitely was. I can show Karen, some Karen, if you're uh, watching, it. please send us photos. But um, Yeah, it's because they like kept him in like <laughs> second grade. Yeah, so like, that's because I was this high. So I was this high. Four years. He kept getting held back in grade one. <laughs> they, kept, they kept Stats Guy in... It, they, they had the height and weight class instead of age groups. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, all I'm saying is I think we're, we're getting too... <laughs> He was 14 and playing Ruckman. Right um, yeah, Oskick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll dominate Oskick. I'm just saying we're Still too concentrating on the Ruckman. big boy hurt me again. <laughs> anyway, that's all I'm saying. He had a beard. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I was probably Ruckman. He's those big old monkey arms that he used to get those tap outs over these <laughs> tiny little preppies. <laughs> ah, Joel Duncan gets it. Stats guy, a Ruck versus under eights, yeah. If Swan's wing and Alex runs into surprisingly tall Lockie McCurdy, how long do they hug for and whose arms go over the shoulder? Oh, his arms go over my shoulders. He's the tall one. No, I think you drag him in closer, though. You <laughs> definitely <laughs> smell him first. Just get in here. I played Ruck. I'm 5'10", says so Power Paul. Yeah, yeah. Karma Geisler just got here. Did Statsman take a pillow? Oh, this is, this is just great. 
<laughs> oh, can I have a go, people, he's, in the comments? He's getting short. Thanks right, for commenting, second. though. Thanks All for right. Commenting. Can they win it with that big O? That's the big You didn't let me of, answer the question. I know. This is it. Like, yeah. this is the I'm big saying, sort of, You said yes. Yeah, but then you kept interrupting. Yeah, it was funny. I'm saying yes yeah, because you, you compared big Oscar McInerney to yourself. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's you setting his, like That's a self I did. Oop. He that's said. That's a self oop and then you clanking no, it off the front of the room. No, that is not what happened. Let's go to the tape. You literally said you wouldn't know how to play rock, and I said I played rock. That's all I said. Who said you wouldn't know how to play rock? You you both did. We said you didn't. Didn't say you didn't know how. Anyway. anyway, anyway, I think it's not a worry. They've they've done really well at the G uh, over the last couple of years, and they will be fine with that bigger. That's all. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Cool. <laughs> what do you think about that? No, no. I think Grundy it's hard. Have a big I day. Think, yeah, right, I think it's enough. hard again. And what if did I say? If it was last year, it was Ruck Jesus, Tom Hickey. What did Different. I say? What did I say earlier? It's the simple idea of continuity, and I think you yeah. take something as pivotal as a Ruckman out. It just gets weird. I'm five hey, 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 like hey, my dad's throwing me under the bus here. Mark right? McKelly and that I is outrageous. Liam played in the ruck. Oz kick 2005. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were right. It was Oz kick. It wasn't Oz kick. Amazingly, still the same height. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I think the continuity gets really tough when you lose a ruckman. Darcy Fort might be okay, but Darcy Fort hasn't played like 20 games mm. with this squad. Yeah. Trying to like figure it all out, and on the biggest stage, I feel like there's enough of a query there. Maybe that it can be a problem. Just lots of ruckmen, like the ruckmen of teams that have won the grand final. There's been a lot of crap ruckmen win grand sure. finals. So that's all I'm. I pay that. Yeah. Darcy Ford has played two games this season. They lost both. Leave my short king alone, says Pivot <laughs> Charles Golden Retriever. The odds on Stats Guy losing this argument are getting shorter. <laughs> 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 Played Ruck on AFL Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that game. I would not be playing. That's only uh, the 23 that you hate. And no, any of them. They're Stats all, guy telling, that is telling the worst, tall tales. Like, oh, this is video great. Video game ever made. I love everyone in the comments. Uh, welcome hate, to the live uh, stream of Dump on Stats Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even have a go at them because they're helping us giving comments. But all right, deep down. The big question for the Swans. Yes. Can this Swans forward line fire? So this was the biggest thing as we sort of went into the last week. Looking at the port back line that isn't wildly imposing, especially in terms of size. Can the Swans' bigs actually step up? They did. So and I think that came down to ball movement inside 50. For the first 10 minutes, the Swans were just bombing it high and long, and it literally is like, <laughs> sick. Exactly. Yeah. And then the Swans got their run and carry game <laughs> going and lowered the eyes, and the accuracy from Errol, Heaney, Chad, uh, McInerney was brilliant. If they can do that, Yes. Because it's not just about, oh, they're going to fight. It's the delivery to them that matters. Mm. Yeah, I agree, Heaney, I agree with that. Heaney and Warner are number one and three, I think, for delivery inside forward 50 that leads to a mark slash score. Harris Andrews and Jack Payne yep. are a slightly different kettle of fish. I'd be leaning towards the uh, Sydney small forwards. Like, Pat Bleed, I think he's going to have a good game. But um, Hardy and Logan McDonald, although, all right, they've been, you could say, in form, like two or three weeks, they're really inconsistent, both of them. So I, I'm a bit worried about their amount of goal kicking. Low kicks, low kicks, low kicks. I agree. Low kicks, yeah. That's what it's go. all about. <laughs> Zerk Thatcher made a money look like you Zerk Thatcher Bob. made me look fast. And he I was, was sitting he down. He was slow, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Wrong. I just, I hate that Voss has come from the Port Adelaide <laughs> school. And I'm like, it's the, it was like 100% Spider Man meme of like, yeah. hey, or well, the Leo meme of like, Oi, I've seen this before. Oi, yeah. Every Carlton game ever. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, better be in front or behind halfway through three quarters. Better to be in front. Uh, 22 of the last 23 winners of the Premiership have led at three quarter well, time. I was going to say that. Yeah, definitely in front. Only you guys in the comment section can be mean to Stats Guy. Footy Classified come out in the March of Dawn. Like if, like if Eddie Maguire comes if out Matthew and says... Lloyd says anything about Stats Boy, he's a dead man. Wait, what if I'm on the show? I, I said I'm taking it. You guys aren't there. Well, you're a trader and we throw you out the window. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm there for a big... I'll, I don't really want to go there, but if there's a big the, cash I'll kick cash you off bag. the show right now. <laughs> Pitchforks at the ready, let's go. <laughs> Outstudying the stats guy, thank you. I'm just hey, saying, I've had about 52 stats. Again, we know that Eddie Maguire watches this show, so like as long... As like there's only four zeros in that off already, we're not we're not yeah. we're not there to yeah. board. <laughs> yeah. If there's five. If there's five oh, now you're on board, we're eh? pushing for six. Yeah. And even then the answer's still no. Oh, yeah, yeah. If it's seven, the answer is still Wait, short. Is, is Eddie paying us in dong or dollar? What did you call it? Like us? Vietnamese <laughs> dong. Why would he be paying us in Vietnamese? That's the joke, because like for a, the mil extra a, million, a million yeah. All right, all right, uh, all right. Yeah. Don't try to do more jokes. That's <laughs> stick to slapping that's boy down. Hey. Right. Those are the big questions. Can the Swans forward line <laughs> fire? They did last week. They smashed the power. Can they do it again? No. That's where we reckon. No. I'm not the tall forwards, the small forwards. Right. Can. Interesting. Yeah. I think it's their midfield hitting the scoreboard. Midfield has to hit the scoreboard. Yeah. Scoreboard and away we go. Best bet tips. What are we vibing? So we've hit on a bunch of these. Yep. 
Since round 17, gentlemen, yep. Hugh Huge McLuggage oh, has gone under 20 disposals only twice. Woo! Hey, what's the correlation? They win. They've won all They won games. as well, yeah, yeah. Uh, apart, well, apart from those last two with Collingwood and uh, GWS, but <laughs> smash the rest of them. 12 games, 26 and 3 against the Swans the last time they played. Yeah. He's a big game awesome. player. Yep. 25 and 2 for Huge McLuggage. Let's go. Whew. That's one of my favorite, favorite bets That's, for this one. Do we want to look at the odds? For Check that? us. Get the odds have, up there. I can have a look man. in a sec if they're actually there. I didn't want to sit here and just. We have some disposal odds, lines as well, so nice that's one. good. The other one for me is the tried and true Chad Chunley Warner, 25 and 1. Ladder it up. Well, you can actually probably start at 20 and 1 for Chad. Mm hmm. Yeah, and two. be safe, yeah. And then 25 and 1, and then 25 and 2. They're probably my favorite ones for Chad Chunley Warner. Yeah. Because what does he do, Alex? He breaks games apart. Yes. Mm. So you've got his over under at 22 and a half. That's his disposals line. Yeah, over under. That's perfect. That's actually, yeah, that's so probably about right. The over under of any time goal and over 22 and a half, two bucks 45. Ooh, with top like that. Very nice. Uh, because as I've sort of hit on in a short that we did, if the Swans win, I tend to feel like Heaney or Warner are going to have a really big say in it. So Warner, 25 and 1, 25 and 2, Norm Smith. Yeah. I'd be like jumping on all over that. But I think you look at some of the weird ones of like Papley, 15 plus disposals, two goals. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's hit 15 disposals in like seven of his last eight matches, like final specialist as well. Off we go. Papley, you don't want to be riding his disposals that hard. No. But... He's done it. Seven of eight. Like that's he had pretty gnarly. 20 disposals in the grand final two years ago as well. We, we were go. talking so, about yeah. Have a look at that. But They're probably my favorite. And so, like, in terms of like, the big goal kickers, Joey Duckett's for three plus is probably like where yeah, I He kicked three last time, yeah. And uh, I'm steering well clear of Chucky Cameron. Yep. Except for one key one, which we'll get to. Uh, but Joey Duckett's is the only Brisbane forward I think I trust to kick multiples. Outside of that, if you're building multis, which we'll also get to with the same game multi, the likes of Loman, Logan Morris, uh, Archie, Rayner. You can feel vaguely confident about those guys with the anytime goals. Yep. I'm just sticking clear of Chucky. Simple yeah, as I'm that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yep. All right, Stats Boy, how about you? Uh, we've got some comments as well. People are backing me up. I've got your back, Stats Man. Thank you very much, Power Prawn Star. What else have we got there? It's clicking for the Swans right now. You'd have to be blind to not see it all coming together, says Lowell's Cow. Odds of Alex standing up too fast and passing out, says Boston Airs. Is that at the game or just that here? Was it, no, that was at the, <laughs> the, yeah, that was at the game because remember after the qualifying finals that I stood up way too many times oh, yeah, and you I did say dented that. out a stroke. That, that's a good memory. Uh, Joel Duncan says there's a reason that Stats Boy's in the middle. He carries this team. I really like Joel. I knew I knew I liked Joel. He's a big that's not Brisbane sweet, Lions fan. That's not sweet, voluptuous Joel that's part of our team, right? No, I think it's just... Uh, He's a Lions fan, Joel, from last time. I remember. That's right. I feel like mm. Joel might be a short king as well. Maybe. Okay, that's, yeah. That, oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. a short king. Just like <laughs> short king, king love. Can we... Okay, whatever. Anyway, are we going into my tips? No. No. Is that what you said? Is that what you said? Did the Swans win? Just notice the carton <laughs> scarf on the table had magically disappeared. Yeah, yeah and yeah. Stats Boy forgot the Lions scarf because he's a moron. Like, what are we doing here? Uh, Again, yeah. I, we're coming I, soon to Channel 9. I bought you. a uh, Lions thing and left it in the car. That's okay. That really sums <laughs> up your quality of work. Oh, my God. Right, Power Brawl Star. Don't go Logan Morris. He screwed me in the elimination final. Yeah, me too, me, might, too. me too. Me too. He might be uh, the same. Up anyway. the Lions and Joel Duncan reckons he's 6'3". Six, three. Three. Same. Oh, uh, We're the same. 6'3". Right. Nice. You guys could be in the remake of Twins. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Stats guy's the Danny Let's DeVito. <laughs> Really, oh, Alex? Oh, jeez. I'm glad Alex is here to put a hat on a hat and explain, oh, I didn't even know what you were talking explain about. my joke. If I'm being honest, I didn't know what you were talking about, so there we go. That's right, you're 20. Oh, <laughs> God. Anyway, Stats Boy, give us your best bets. Yeah, best bets. Uh, Hugh McCluggage, two goals. You already touched on it, Thank but you. two plus. He doesn't do it very often, but he had three goals, one against Sydney last time, so four One was this shots. awesome weird barrel from about that 85 awesome. out that yeah. just kept rhyming. Oh, my God, someone stop it! <laughs> And in the big games, you just go, all right, Lockie Neal, he's obviously going to get a lot of handballs, a lot of clearances. But then you go, Hugh McCluggage really, really steps up in the big games. That sweeping roll, like, just off this the half-forward flank. Is, yeah. like, how has he got the ball again and he's launching it? So in going with the lineups, this is why I'm thinking that Ro uh, not Robottom, Jordan may go to McCluggage. Ooh. Sure. I'd, yeah, that's actually not a bad shout, to be fair. But I still think he's probably going to go to Zorko. Mm. He also had two goals in last year's grand final. Really, really stepped God, up. Obviously, awesome. they lost. If they won, he probably would have got Norm Smith. So that's why. I know, we were all on him. Yeah, <laughs> we were, we're all on, on him, actually. Luggage. That's why I'm going to be on him again, uh, as we'll talk about later. But two goals there. Chad Warner's my other one. 25-plus disposals. Uh, I think he's going to step up, especially if Heaney's tagged. He had 29 in the 2022 uh, grand final. And two goals. And two goals. And 10 clearances. He was just awesome. I love him. Uh, so 25-plus, I think you get a really good, really 
Uh, really good value yeah. there for Chad Warner. And then he averages 26 disposals in his last four games. So I think he's going to get around that for his uh, disposals. Love it. And I, like got our, well, I think we've got our first ban of the YouTube comments as well. I like the cut uh, of their gym. No, Wait, really? We're banning Lol's Cow because, <laughs> Alex, let's do a takeover of the channel and make it a solely Swans focus. Yeah. No. We don't, we don't need Justin Lepich and that stats dude. And we'll bring in, De- we'll bring in Debs, Mads, and Polly as well. Lol's Cow will just make it a complete takeover. Uh, that's a different podcast. Yeah. That's Sydney classified. Yeah, that's uh, True Bloods. Yeah go, go. yeah, go check it out. Did the AFLW show. All right, Alex, week. ben Let's go. Uh, Logan McDonald, two plus goals. He's kicked 12 in his last four at the MCG, two bucks 14. Ooh. Ollie Florent, 20 plus. He's had that in three of his last four, but across the three games at the MCG this year, 65 possessions. His over under is 19 and a half. Love so it. take the over to $1.83. Grundy, over under is 16 and a half, but he's Ooh. had 15 plus in 19 of 20, 24 this season. 20 plus with the mismatch against Darcy Fort. Question mark. That. Yeah, yeah. Can he run it out? I reckon he can. Hmm. Heaney, 25 and 2. He's done it in all three games of the MCG this Love year. This. Two plus 11 times this year. Out of those 11 games, the Swans have won nine. Ooh. He's gone 25 plus. Wait, wait, wait. You're saying that Heaney did 9 uh, <laughs> 11? I knew it. Yeah. 25 plus 13 times. 11, 11, 11 wins from the 13 games. Uh, he's gone 21. When he's had 21 or more disposals, the Swans are 17 and 3. Damn. Four bucks but 80 for the 25 and 2. I do like that, but are we still worried if he gets tagged? Is he going to get the 25, definitely? Mm. I mean, like, can, I reckon I mean, he could get can, 20. They can try. Three, 20, maybe. Okay, 20, well, if he gets 23, that's fine because the Swans go, are 17 and 3. Yeah. He's had 21 or more. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Nice. Those are some good ones. Yay, Deebs, Mads, and Polly. Yeah. Nice. Uh, did the Swans win? Does it make a good point? So, like, we don't. We need to talk about that. So not sure how much last time they played Sydney info counts, considering one, it was at the Gabba, two Swans we talked about it, on yeah. the bench after half time. And you also we need to add this in... when we went through the record, yeah. right? Yeah. So they've won four straight against the Swans before four of the last five. Five, five of the last six. six. Five Even last better. Six. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, like, it's not at the G. Like, no, it's a very different game. It's always, yeah. always slightly weird There's no different. cheeks. Yep. Oh, yeah. uh, Papley went down. Uh, Rampy went down. <laughs> Mil- Mills didn't play. He's not playing now. And... Uh, what's he? Uh, Will Haywood was on one knee, yep. standing in the goal square. Nah, he doesn't. He hasn't done that much anymore. Anyway. That's fine. It's, kicked like forty goals. It's also like more. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. It's also like a million million years ago. So, yeah, I'm not really, really, really that bothered. Uh, Boston Airs asked Jim, "Where's the Super Bowl style bets? Coin toss, over under on the get, anthem, Caddy's first song. We oh, don't actually Mac have. Mac and didn't play either. Okay. Oh, so yeah. I think that's the that's a big one. Mac and Ernie. Oh, they won without Mac and Ernie. Are you saying? No, no, no. He didn't play. Oh, Justin, Justin Mac and Ernie. I thought it was Ash Hutchinson says, I'm sitting clear of Heaney. feel like he's going to have a quiet one. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, for his standards. I agree with that. I think Heaney is the one thing where he goes off or he's very like quiet. There's not much in between. Mm. Simple as that. Uh, the grand final, in terms of like the fun novelties, there are very few They'll be out probably on Saturday. Yeah. I reckon if you keep an eye out for them on Saturday. Like the national anthem link, <laughs> it's the Australian national anthem. Yeah, it's, yeah. Cody it's, it's literally paced the same every damn time. Yeah. yeah. And it's just boring. And I reckon we should change it to something neat and cool. Cody like Holy Grail. It's Australian. It's Australian. It's Australian. That actually got homie to laugh. It's Australian. Or, whoa, Australia, family. Whoa, Australia, family. It's pretty good. Whoa, Australia, family. Why is that so much better? That was actually pretty gnarly. Side note, Cheeks is $1.71 to have 10 or more tackles. Nice. Oh, I don't mind that. Yeah. Right. With all this in mind, let's get Fergie to do it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Fergie, definitely not Fergie. She'd be like, whoa, Australia, baby. <laughs> and then you're like, God damn. Um, <laughs> God damn. The AFL Today Show same game multi that yep. we've built. Be on from Top Sport, yeah. With Top Sport, you go to Top Sport, you'll be able to find this. This is the cool one. Let's do it. Isaac Heaney, anytime goal scorer. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Kyle Loman. He's been very good. Anytime goal scorer. Love me some. Kick two the last three weeks, Kai. Yeah. Logan McDonald, two plus goals. That's Alex's one. He's, he's, he's in good form. One Wilbert Ashcroft. Wilbert. Full name. <laughs> Wilbert. 20, well, you call him Marcus. Uh, <laughs> so is the umpires. 20 plus disposals. And Chad Chundley Warner, 20 plus. Yep. It's actually, yeah, pretty. Very good. simple. Pretty chill, but good odds. Very easy. This will be the most simple, chill, and easy of the same game multis <laughs> that I will have this week. Yeah. 
Yeah. That is a GU guarantee because mine are going to be absolute chaos. <laughs> Gamble responsibly says, Joel Duncan. Yeah. And always, compared to always. what I'll be doing, this is very responsible, <laughs> this one. This is a very responsible <laughs> multi, but we just want to get a winner. I... Of all these legs, I absolutely love the Will Ashcroft 20 plus because I yeah. think by the time all the focus on Neil, on Zorko, on Dunkley, Ashcroft has had an awesome final series. We know that he's Last super young. Weeks, we get that, but he's been crushing it. Yep. And 20 plus, I feel like, is wildly doable. Absolutely. Uh, Chad Tully Warner, the 20 plus should be his absolute low mark, yep. I feel like, too. Uh, Logan, as Alex expertly pointed out, has booted plenty of goals at, at the, the MCG. G, yeah, yeah. Kyle Lohman is the ultimate goal sneak, and just all he does is a live wire. have awesome hair and kick goals. Yep. Yeah. And that's how he rolls. And Heaney's just and Heaney unstoppable the at the thing. moment. Yep. Love it. Cool. Feeling confident? Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah, this is yeah. the most confident I've found. We've missed by multiple. one. I checked. Of all the ones we've done so far, we've literally missed by one leg in all of them, but one one we just completely shat the bed. This nice. one's going to be good. Yeah, yeah it's going to be the one. Finish on a high. <laughs> yep. Lock it in, Eddie. Just not on footy, footy classic. <laughs> just saying. Up that we got a lot of shout as well. Today. Come on, mate. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, before we get to the final tips, let's do some Norm Smith and first goal scorer. Sweet. Ooh. Norm Smith. Here we go. Don't say handy challenge. Shut up. That's <laughs> All right. Don't say handy challenge. <laughs> Didn't Warner. we just talk about Warner. Heaney possibly right. getting tagged? So if Heaney gets Man. tagged, I still, like I'd be looking at Warner because I okay. think he's the game breaker and dominated in the granny. I think Heaney is the sort of dude he's very hard to tag at the mm -hmm. moment because he's just been that good. Yeah. I kind of feel like Warner though is the one that could just shine in that spot. We see it all the time with Norm Smiths, where it's just like the other guy, and like Chad is a very <laughs> awesome other guy. Very very so awesome other guy. I don't mind Warner Heaney and the <laughs> other one. If you like the Lions, I absolutely love McCluggage. So. I'll be dumping on McLuggage right there. Yeah. Alex? Heaney. He's been the best player of the finals. It's going to be Heaney. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's a fair argument. I'm going Hugh McLuggage. Huge. He's just been awesome. Dominated. Would have got the Norm Smith last year if they had to go over the line. Obviously, it was a really close result. I still reckon Bob Hill would have won it, even if Brisbane won. Oh, do you reckon? Yeah. They very rarely give it to the other team. I think, yeah. Yeah, but they do the voting five minutes before the game ends, and there's three goals mm. kicked in that last five minutes. True, so. true. true. Anyway, I, yeah, I think McLuggage, especially if Neil gets tagged, he's just going to hit the score, but if he kicks two goals and gets over 25 touches, that's an absolute lock for yep. Norm Smith. So, so he's my one. Heaney is $5.50 or top sport. Yep. Chad is seven. McCluggage is 13. So, it's so like Bob Hill got 15 votes last year. McCluggage didn't get one <laughs> stats guy. So your really? uh, narrative of well, McCluggage should have won. Well, whoever's doing the votes is a spike. Kitty Coleman got five. How the hell did... It was McCluggage not get a vote. Bobby Hill, year. 15. Coleman, 5. Nick Dacos, 4. Tom Mitchell, 3, because he did the tagging role. Jack Chris, 2. And Pendlebury, 1. I wish Kitty Coleman was playing right, this game. Norm Smith, though. Outsiders. Are there ones that we like? Uh, Joey, like, Joey Duckett's. Joey Duckett's 21 at 21. Bucks. Brody Grundy at 26, if he can run it out. Can we go even more outside? Dominate. Let's have a look. Kyle Lohman. So if he, what did he kick? One goal, three last week and had a lot of the ball. If he kicked straight up, they like just say he kicked two or three goals, he would have been right up there for best on ground. $51. Just a bit of a live wire. Just could get off the chain. Justin McInerney has 20 and 3. Yeah. Not bad. $81. $81. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon Stasevich <laughs> plays the game of his life. And shuts down uh Yeah, Papley. but they don't get, Or they have given it to Hodge and who else was the other one? Brian Lake. Yeah, playing, yeah, but also Hodge had like 30 yeah. on disposals. And, and Brian goals. Lake was just... Take him. Bang! <laughs> yeah, he Jared has to take, Berry says uh, Joel Duncan. I don't mind Jared Berry, yeah. So Brody's odds for the norm as we just hit on, what was that? 26. Uh, 26. What would be the funniest outcome for Noel Smith? Maybe like Eric Hipwood? No, like someone like Hayden McLean. Because he, he's just so no, someone like Hayden McLean kicking six. Just like, <laughs> sure. $151. No, yeah. that's Pelican, not going to happen. The Pelican at 151 <laughs> Uh, what's Rainer paying us? Ash Hutchinson. Rainer is at 19. Is actually yeah. pretty That's good value okay. as well, yeah. Because if he has three goals in that forward 50 and sort of just like... Like how he dominated last week. Important three goals like he did. Yeah. Noah Answorth has 30 and one, says Leo. <laughs> not That's, bad. Just going to not be the sub first. Yeah. But as I sort of said, like there's six big names that I think you can sort of circle is like the obvious ones of Haney, Warner and Gordon. And then the other ones are Neil, McCluggage and Zorko. Yep. And they actually now make up the top six in the odds with top sports. So, nice. Because Dunkley has dropped all the way down to 21. Um, Joey Duckett's is at 21. Zorko at 16. I just don't know if he's going to have as much of an no. impact. Yep. Like he plays, <coughs> we know that he's good. We know that he can have an impact. And if you're letting him but it's run like rampant. He's just going to have a lot of cheap touch and everyone's like, and because it's a voting panel, they're the like, The Swans yeah. are also just not going to let him run rampant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same with Lockie Neal as well. So, How about first goal scorer? I love Ooh. this one. Chucky Cameron. I reckon it might be the only thing he does in this game. 
Okay. Just kicks the first goal and then goes. First oh, goals oh, and, uh, the and first Harry goal Cunningham away, just go. snaps. Yeah. Goes full Possibly. Turby Park on him. The he cool part the... is you can do first goal scorer and the Norm Smith medal double. Oh, cool. my God. With top sport. Watch out. That's cool. Charlie Cameron, the first goal. Isaac Handy, Norm Smith, $61, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Where is this? That's really good in the Norm Smith market. Ooh, don't mind that. That's really good. Uh, that's a good combo. Sharky Cameron, Chad Warner, <laughs> Norm Smith, as I just predicted. $81. Not <laughs> That's bad. wild. That's great. I just feel like Chucky Cameron, like he came so close a couple of times as well. I think he's got the most first goals this season in this game. In the last four seasons, he's yep. got the most of anyone. Yeah. By a mile. Like by a mile. There's, uh, when we we're riding hard on that Geelong Brisbane game last week as well, like <sighs> he and Stengel basically were just like, yeah. Always, either way, anytime it went near them, you're like, come on, come on, come on. And then Chucky ended up getting it, of course. So mm. uh, I reckon he could go back to back. Chucky Cameron. Okay. Stats boy. Yeah, I'm going Cam Rayner. I'm going Brisbane as well. Uh, he's done so three times this year for the first goal. Second on the ground to Charlie Cameron for uh, first goals you know, over the last like four seasons, I'm pretty sure. Uh, often takes a big early grab. You you watch Brisbane games, he would, will play half forward or mid for probably second half, uh, maybe the last three quarters. First quarter, you always see him take a big grab down in the goal square or near the pocket. And he plays a bit deeper early on. I don't know if that's like a game plan You're or something like that. Alex. It's yeah. awesome. No, no, no. I'm just He's like, Aaron Cunningham won't let him do that. No, Aaron like, Cunningham won't let him do that. Dan Rampey Dan Rampey. No, I just think early he'll take a big grab and uh, keep the first goal. Yeah. Nice. And, Alex, uh, should I check the odds for that, actually? I didn't even check. It's that. a very simple story, Jim. It's a tap down from Brody Grundy <laughs> to our mate Cheeks, Ooh. who gives a quick handball out to Heaney, who's in space, about to get tackled. Handballs off to Chad Chunley Warner, who goes bang from 55. I could see and that. And I yeah. stand up and nearly pass out again. There we go. <laughs> he's he's going to pass out three yeah. times. He's, he's, had two, he's had two beers in his yeah. Chad yeah. Warner kicks the first goal. Isaac Heaney, Norm Smith, 81 bucks. Ooh. So Chucky Cameron's at 11. Papley is at 11. Uh, to answer Mark McCallion's question. Yeah, Papley first Lohman, goal. I like that. First goal he wears number one says power bronzer. <laughs> That's just science. I like that. Uh, Did the Swans wins go on Will Haywood first got um, Everyone's mind. leaning towards the smaller players. Yeah, because yeah, it's like big contest. Big contest, go to the up, ground. Snap, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kyle Nick Lohman's Dacos 16. got it from a crap free kick last year. Kyle Cricket. Lohman's this uh, $16 one. Chuck, Chuck, go. Warner in the first minute. Warner is currently... Like $15, $16. I don't mind that yeah, because he's 15. So the most goals Will Haywood first goal also not about the looking most at the goals outside 50 of them this year too. Okay. Cricket shots. That's man the goat. Thanks, mate. There we go. Before we do it, we're going to finish up with the tips in the margin. Let's do the big call. Oh, I, I might have forgot about that, but I will talk about it. Cool. The big call. Joe Danaher kicks four goals. Really? MCG. Oh. Big bounce back from last year. <laughs> He just goes, whapang, check this out. Grand final, Joe. Oh. He's feeling good. He's feeling great. Four. Yeah. Let's go. Alex? Same as last week. The Swans. They jump. They lead. They win. Two weeks in a row. Spoiler alert. Don't, they don't give Brisbane a sniff. Oh, I'm, go I'm going the opposite there. I think the Lions jumped them in the first. As the uh, stats have mentioned, that the Sydney just don't go well in the it first. I think, the stats I think they're going to jump them in the first, get maybe like the first, I'm going to say four goals of the game. Harris Andrews on the other side as a player. We don't often talk about the back, but I think he's going to have a really big game take maybe. Did you know like Jack Payne likes six planes? He does like planes. <laughs> Harris Andrews probably likes planes as well. Harris Andrews takes six intercept marks and yeah, Lions jump him and get a win. Awesome. Yep. Big call. Heaney under 15 touches. Boy, that is a huge call. Talk about triggered. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alex really punched <laughs> that like, one there. Ah. It's like just hearing that. Yeah. Jim and Alex recycling their big calls. I didn't use Joey Duckett's last week, did I? I think you did, yeah. But... It still makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Still, still a big call, Leo. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I'm backing off on Power that. Power says, I'm a mathlete. Uh, <laughs> I love that, Alex. I'm betting it right now. What was that one? Uh, the Chad Warner. Nice. First goal. Yeah, it's it, the worst take post game. Caro Blakey couldn't win the Norm Smith with that haircut. Yeah. <laughs> or it's because of Lockie Neal's tattoos. Yeah, yeah he has tattoos, so he final. can't do anything. Yeah. Like, it might be Lockie <laughs> Neal's black eye. So. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Joel Duncan, though, I like this one the most. Chad, first goal. Alex passes out. <laughs> Game finishes. Alex comes to <laughs> to find out it was the only goal. But that's not a bad result for me because <laughs> I didn't passed. have to sit through it. Can we multi that? Oh, okay. <laughs> that that's great. I didn't have to sit through it. That's <laughs> fine. I've got the memory. Let's dig out the markets. Let's go. That's All great. All right. And the last thing before we get to the tips and the margin, keep an eye on. Yep. What are we keeping an eye on? So last week, to hit on what we were keeping an eye on and what the uh, result was, Port's midfield defensive accountability versus Gordon and Co. There was none. It fell apart. Yep. Cost them the game. <laughs> Ports forwards versus Sydney's back line. Who goes where? It fell apart. Cat speed or lack thereof. That as, soon as, as soon as Max, Max Holmes, Holmes came out. Yeah. Jezza, Ollie Henry and Shannon Neal versus Lions back line timber. 
It looked like it was going to make a bit of a difference. Holly Henry was great. Holly, yeah, I was about to say but Holly Chen Henry. Neil just went MIA. Yep. Yeah, Neil wasn't great. Neil's foot. That was Fine. okay. Brisbane's accuracy was all right. Loman Ashcroft and the Young Lions. Bang! Dominated, yeah. Oh, that one versus Holmes, Dempsey, and the Young Cats. Holmes was really good, but yeah, definitely dominated against Dempsey. Yep. So what are we looking at this week? Well, let's look at some of these comments before we do it. Stats guy was so triggered he grew two inches. Yep. I clipped it okay. up, Jim, says Leo. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you there. Checks out. Probably did. Big call, Lizard, two goals. Ooh, I love that. Back. Oh. That, would be, that would be good fun to watch. That bring the house down. Big call, leave him to play ruck yes. again in 2025. Get me in the ruck. I got Are you going to send him to China to get those weird splinch? <laughs> is Stats guy playing VFL? Is, there we go. Stats guy's playing VFL, the Vietnamese Football League. Yeah. I've, I've, yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Nice. <laughs> Liver <laughs> played I, over there. How do we feel about Choi? Don't know. Don't read that one. I no, don't know what's gonna... going on there. Longmire is a move we haven't seen. Interesting. Yeah. Keep an eye on Stats Guy's distance from Hugh McCluggage. <laughs> yeah, Hugh McCluggage is no, not going like anywhere me, near me the MCC. Hugh, we're, we're All right. like we are keeping an eye on this week. Katy Perry's pregame performance. Yeah. Absolutely. It's are a those big... five songs going to be worth <laughs> five million bucks? That's a... No. I don't even think they're awesome. I don't think they're worth five million. AFL could just chip off a little bit of that and we'll... We'll do a live show for them. Check it oh, out. Oh, I hate you, Phil, so much. <laughs> Phil, wires wire to wire. Ossipenko wins. Alex in a torture chamber of emotions. Sips for yeah. him. Yeah. For, uh, Ossipenko <laughs> has been a torture child of mine in horse racing. Stats guy's already signed up with the Pakistan Cup. Absolutely. I'm going, yeah, I'm traveling with them. You Absolutely. can go to Me Karachi anytime. All right, we're also <laughs> keeping an eye on Lockie Neal's heel injury. Yeah. It was fine last week, but he did look really even more ginger. He would look ginger today, yeah. too. And Rainer, apparently, yeah. Logan McDonald's ankle. Fine. So, yeah. I just put this in there because oh, no. he obviously came off early last week, yeah. but he, Logan's a- ankle should yeah. be fine. Okay. Hip wood and pain's general soreness. Yeah, so they've been hobbling around at training today, but it's also it's like you yeah, don't final. need to do much. You're not going to get any fitter. You've got it's adrenaline. About... You've got uh, – yeah. they're going to have some shots, I'm sure. They'll be they'll be fine. Wait, they're doing shots? I meant like uh, – what are they called? I'll be doing shots. <laughs> <laughs> right. What else are we giving on? Uh, Fort versus Grundy in the rough. Yeah, agreed. This is a big one. Just going to see just how, how he it. goes. Yeah, around the ground especially. If Fork can just sort of hang with Grundy, I it think keeps he can, Brisbane yeah. in it. That's it, kind of all that he needs to But do. if Grundy has a game like he did against uh, Blitzarves and Stanley. If Grundy gets 20 plus, then that's a yeah. big worry. Yeah. Who was that poor Adelaide life? kid that he just dead set threw Sweet. into the uh, stands? Uh, no, uh, when they dropped Riley O'Brien, it was just some bloke. Oh. Grundy had 31 dispersals. Yeah, yeah. It was not a Strawny. Marty kick nine. Strawny. That's yeah, Strawn. Yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Nice one. Uh, no, nah, read it, lads. You're going to talk about Katy Perry. We can talk about Gagum. It's good stuff. Give it a stream. Jasper Fletcher rates it. It must uh, be his channel or something. Like that. It appears to be some sort of, Chewing I want to gum? say, Korean. K-pop. There K-pop. There oh. we go. Ah, okay. So, what's okay. the chance the horse? Re- oh, what's the chance horse retires if Sydney lift the cup? Well, he's got one year left on his contract to the end of next year, so I reckon that's when they announced the intention for Dean Cox to take yeah. over as coach. And so, finally, people in Perth go, Danny, you come home. Like no. he literally said his press conference, I was like, guys, I'm staying West Sydney. Coast sucks. Yeah. I'm staying here. Yeah. All right. Final thing we're keeping an eye on tags. Zorko, yep. Jordan. Yeah. Uh, or McCluggage. Or Dunkley McCluggage. Or Barry Tahini. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to like That's also- gonna be Parker to and- I think Parker to Andrews is a thing. And it wouldn't surprise me if Will Haywood may play a defensive role as well. Mm. You know what the best thing is? Footy. This is awesome. <laughs> this is the grand <laughs> yeah. final. Just think about these matchups. Just think about the roar before this game starts. Ah, oh, God. It's the sun shining That's in the, the MCG. Best thing. When the Katie Perry, bounced, oh. she's gone out there. She's roared. <laughs> Your mate well, we, we Jim is fireworked. It's been gnarly. <laughs> Are you hot and cold? No, she's brought me out like just, just as hot. a guest just to do the firework bit. Because, <laughs> baby, you're a firework. <laughs> he sings it too well. He might be great. Yeah. Uh, I like that we've already put it in the deep thaw to get out uh, up. There goes Yeah, Ailey. good. Mike Brady yeah. is uh, currently under Thor. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He gets thawed out once so a year. So Holy Grail. Can we get Mark Seymour out there for Holy Grail? Yep. These are just hallowed Australian traditions. Absolutely. Honestly, we could do Holy Grail instead of the <laughs> anthem and I'd be fine. All right. Checks out. It should yep. be the anthem. Put all your hands up. Uh, if Swans win, what do you think? Chad goes west. No. no I don't he think, loves I it also, Sydney. I also don't think Freya have the draft capital to get him, right. Shy Bolt, and everyone else this year. I don't year. want to talk about trades. <laughs> okay. Grand finals. Let's do it. Grand final tips. Let's do it. Yes. Who wins and by how much? Stats boy. I just saw what you tipped. I've been in shock. Uh, Lions by five points. I really think they can win. They've won five of the last six. Uh, what have we got? In st- <laughs> Jesus. I'm not reading out that comment. That is outrageous. That is outrageous. He has a comments. girlfriend now. Brisbane uh, dominating in the first quarter and uh, they'll win by five points. I think it's going to be an absolute classic grand final, but the Lions get the job done. You're just a hater. No, I, I genuinely think they can win. They've... 
they love that sort of uncontested marks, which they did really well against uh, Sydney last time. They won five of the last six. Good form. Really good form at the MCG the last couple of weeks. So I'm happy. Travis Lubicki says, go Lions beat the so-called best team in 150 years. So-called, they are. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Stats boy is dead to me, lol. Well, Will, sure, the, Will Stats like, guy kiss a girl? Well, yeah, this is yeah. still... <laughs> Like until we see video proof, <laughs> I, why the why the hell would you want to see a video of that? You creep. That, that, what are you talking about? I'm just saying like, we could sell this. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> only stats guys. Only stats boys. Anyway, can we get back into the tips, please? <laughs> this is getting weird. Just the tip. <laughs> Definitely hater vibes, old cow. You are a hater. He's saying no. I genuinely think the Lions will win. I think at their best, they are the better team, and they're going to win. Alex. Obviously, I'm tipping the Swans. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Yeah, uh, no, I think the Swans win this by four goals. We also we have slightly talked about it where. Uh, the Lions have been on the road since week one of the finals. So trip to Sydney, trip to Melbourne, another trip to Melbourne. The Swans ah. haven't left the SCG since round 23. They played Adelaide there, uh, and then they've stayed at home ever since. I think it was like 42 days at home. They're rested. They're, we've looked at the last couple of tight grand final, uh, preliminary finals. The team that's played in the tight prelim has ended up losing that game. So the Swans a couple of years ago fell in by a point against Collingwood, got absolutely belted off the ground. We had Brisbane, you know, get the job done in a close game. Also adding the extra day's rest for the Swans. And the fact we said last week, the last 30 minutes of the Swans against the Giants was the best we've seen. They didn't get out of third gear against Port Adelaide. Mm, so they've hit court, their yeah. peak form at the right time. Mm. Brisbane, they could be hanging on just by a thread. Interesting. And the Swans have the freshness in the legs. I don't know about the rest. Like you, you modern AFL players, the way they travel, it's very easy on the legs. Like I know Stats guy, saying, there's but... been one team since 2000 to come out of the not inside the top four to win the grand final. Well, let's yeah, make it two how, to, on Saturday. Look, look how serious he is. <laughs> it's the grand final. Of course, I'm going to be serious. Uh, Swans are going to win. All right, fair enough. I'm real, you guys. Stop bullying my king. Yes, Lions will get the job done. I agree. You turbo charge, golden retriever. Uh, Swans by 23. Chad Norm accepts medal and he's er Errol signed TNs. <laughs> yeah, he's got the uh, TNs on, yeah. Collingwood won all three finals last year by like a total of 12 points. And they also had the week off. Mm -hmm. I said that earlier. Alex is stealing my mojo. What's your tip, Jim? My tip is... Uh, gentlemen. Here we go. <laughs> I'm very nervous with this tip. Uh, for Alex, actually, mate. The year is 2024. <laughs> is it? The current day Aussie Rules Football League which was, you know, used to be known as the VFL. It yep. has a long storied <laughs> history. 130 odd years. But really, the the story of <coughs> Aussie rules goes back even further. <laughs> what Probably is this? Around, you know, the 1870s, TikTok. 1860s. <laughs> and in that time, in 150 years, gentlemen, and all of the folks out there watching, engaging. In 150 years, we have not seen a team as talented as this Sydney Swans oh team. Oh, my God. That is a They joke. will win this grand final without a skerrick of doubt in my brain. 64 points. 60, this, are, you, are you all right? This will be an absolute smashing. 64 points. The Lions will be tired. They played their grand <laughs> final last week, you see, in beating the Geelong Cats. Did you drop your laptop on his head or something? And the Sydney Swans yeah, will run right out. over the top of this... Brisbane Lions team because the Swans, what they'll see in front of them are some felines. Two years ago, <laughs> they copped some feline fury from the Geelong Cat. Can you hurry up? My train leaves in 12 minutes. <laughs> I do Stop not care. Stop your train. We're doing a I live do show. I do not care. <laughs> and it is the Swans up, will get Jesus some revenge Christ. in the very multitude of a way that Swans do get the revenge. <laughs> By attacking, using their weird long necks. Swans are scary. They are vicious birds. <laughs> Do not let. I'm taking a line over a swan though, Weird, shaky, <laughs> bizarre outlook throw you off the scent. They are terrifying birds. 64 points. As what a little five-year-old gym at Lake Wendorie can attest, trying to feed the swans a bit of bread and being attacked. Scarred <laughs> for life, he says. Hurry up. <laughs> 64 points. The Sydney Swans no will win way. this in an absolute canter. The Brisbane Lions run out of legs. You ago about Geelong stats, boy. Nah, we go. I reckon I tipped too long. Too not long. by nah. 84 points. Of course not, but not This 64. is the best team we've seen in 150 years. This is the best team all season until that weird little blip where they put the cue in the rack anyway. There was a reason they were favourites from week two onwards. Ugh. The Sydney Swans are the best team we've ever seen. They will run away with this grand final in absolute canter. There is absolutely no way that that does not happen. They are a shoe-in, Stats Boy. An absolute <laughs> shoe-in. Jigs is, is, a, is a hoy. I will be putting on... 
the biggest bet Alex has done. I have done this season <laughs> on the Sydney Swans. He doesn't want so. to hear this anymore. <laughs> and it will be fantastic because they will win it, no problem. Alex That's how confident I am. <laughs> All right. He's jinxing him and Alex is gone. Who's jinxing? I'm backing this up with the largest <laughs> amount of money I've put on a football game this season, Stats Boy. So how we, could that you be might not a have jinx? a house on uh, Monday or Sunday. I'll still have a house and bet responsibly. <laughs> of course, of course, bet responsibly. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, it's just us two. What song does Katy Perry play first? Ooh. Um, fireworks is probably – maybe Hot and Cold just to build into it, I reckon. What do, you, what do you reckon? Maybe or, or one of some of our new album, which I've got no idea. No, that would be like third. You reckon? Mm, I Kissed a Girl. Let's go. What, what does she night? finish with, Firework or Raw? Firework. Fire, nah, yeah. Raw. Raw. No, opens with Raw. Opens like, with Raw, Firework. She might not be singing Raw. That was the whole debate. No, she said she's singing Raw. It's oh, in there the you set go. list. There you go. Opens nice. with Raw. Let's do yep. it. All right. So we got two swans and a lions tip. There we go. Swans by 64. Write it down. Absolute lock. We've got a lot of comments Done. that we missed there. We got spoiler alert. We saw your tips earlier. That's on the socials. So check our tips out on the socials. Swans 150th year by the, the Swans win. Everyone's just getting around the 150th yeah. year there. And uh, what have we got else? Joel Duncan, if Alex actually left legit, I'd like him more. I want to keep my job. <laughs> wants to keep his job. That's fair enough. Well, the only thing that would stop the Swans from being the best team we've seen in 150 years if they get belted. Mm. Like I mean, somehow lose. positive is they've made the grand final. You know, you've got to be there to win it. Something yeah. Carlton don't yeah, know you're about. You're not the best team in 150 years if you don't win the grand final. Are you? <laughs> no. Oh, that'd be a real disappointment. <laughs> <That's actually. laughs> All right, anyway. well, there you go. That'll do the <laughs> AFL Today show for what today. Show. That is the grand final setup. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I cannot wait. Teenage <laughs> dream, says Boston Airs. All right. Oh, poor we Harry We'll be back to wrap Sorry, up Oscar. this insane grand final on Monday. We won't be doing a Sunday show this week <laughs> because... Likely we will all be far too hungover and no, the, the season will be done. People don't want to hear us on so Sunday. Monday, they hear us on off Monday. we go. Uh, so stick around for that. Thank you to turtlenecking Sydney Swans fan Alex Donnelly. I'm not, doing well. I didn't doing turtleneck well. last week. I'm not turtlenecking now. Swans are good. I, I can't win. believe our yeah, well, They're going to smash it. It's going to be great. <laughs> and the stats boy. Thank yes. you for all the stats. He actually brought some stats yeah, today. he nailed it today. I had about 52 stats. Yeah, thank you very much. Good and, job, uh, stats go guy. Lines. I like that. But now, make sure, <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought you're actually make sure that you're smashing <laughs> a like and everything across all the socials. We'll be like live tweeting during the grand final. Oh, you uh, will. There's going to be lots of stuff. Alex will be no doubt doing videos and stuff from there. I'll, uh, I'll hopefully be there as well. Stats Boy reckons will be there. He's going to like, I don't know, stab someone Sneak and take in. their... No, he's an MCC guy. Yeah. It's like, I like what? this idea. I'm just like, Stats Boy. Is, is right, can we wrap it up? I want to get the train like home. Stats Boy like two, two Stats Boys in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, adult man. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so make sure you subscribe, start and like all of our shows on your podcast apps and YouTube, of course. The Creed Today podcast, Football Today podcast, NBA Australia, which is back terrifyingly soon. Yep. NFL Australia as well as hold all tickets for your GGs. And this is just the a and AFL men's end of the season. AFLW is still going strong. Absolutely. So get right around the AFLW Today show with Alex and Bryony and the little stats boy every so often. Yes. We've got North of good, so we've got to get stats guy, and he does bring the energy. Yes. All right, get around him like the squid getting around his setup of green pasta and footy shaped meatballs. Genuinely, I might Saturday. join you for that. That yeah. sounds, sounds, that sounds awesome. really good. Oh, I've got to make the bloody thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't want yeah. it anymore, actually. No. Best AFL who there is, and show. I'm not biased. Uh, show. Best yeah. AFL show there is, and I'm not biased. Thank you nice. very much, Boston. Good Airs. work, fellas. Happy punting. It's Aries. Well done, lads. All right. There we go. That's it. We will catch you on Monday for a massive grand final rap show. Good uh, luck to everybody. Have Alex a great day on bounce. Saturday. Let's go! Funny! <laughs> go live. Look after yourselves, and remember, bet responsibly, and also, footy is back. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.